All right. Yeah. This is Hello, our everybody. first uh, first weekly of the new year for uh, Guilty Gear. Yeah, thank you for joining us here on Boston Bluebeat. My name is Swell. I'm here with Tails, uh, one of our competitors. Hi, uh, uh, I'm Tails. I am very excited. This is a large weekly. Yeah, we got, what, 18 players here, and a lot of these folks are no slouches whatsoever. Ooh, and we're starting off with a Kai Mirror. Kai Mirror? Let's do it. We got Michael Dink going up against Noise Tank, and if I recall correctly, this is a Noise Tank's coming out of retirement match. A little bit, yeah. Noise Tank used to be uh, used to be a big name in the, the Massachusetts XX scene. He, I didn't really see much in uh, X Herd, but he is he's still around and he's still playing Guilty Gear. Yeah, and already uh, getting into it here as well. That's what gets up and over Dink's offense there. We got Dink in the pink. That rhymes. All right, love. <laughs> Oh wait, no, were the names swapped? No, yet? names swapped. We've got Noise Tank uh, and, and Dink playing the, the basic Kai. Damn, there goes my rhyme. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, with the DP there. Touch stun it. And we got some 2P pressure, blocked Greed Sever. Uh, this is going to be reasonably big conversion. Gets a, gets a fair damage off the throw. And that, that Force Break Star, or whatever it's called for a... Uh, yeah, I like that there. That was really nice there. That sets up the meaty pressure there so that even if they were hit, they, well, not meaty, but even if they were hit, the way event that would come out after you were in that situation there. Just about to the round here. How's it going to close out? I think we'll be able to, ooh, being able to get some offense going here. Both players are relatively well like Ooh, and that looked like it was a chip kill by, from a stun edge. Round two, we got that round start stun dipper. And you know, sometimes you just do it just to find out and see how they're going to react. And yeah, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Absolutely, get a good Stunned. knockdown in the corner. Six heavy, uh, that move is very plus on block. I think it's like Kai. plus 15 or something ridiculous like that. Yeah, some huge no number. Kai's, Kai's definitely got some, some big plus frame buttons. I mean, that's, a, that's the name of his plan, right? He thinks that risk gauge with uh, his plus part and then just forces you to hack that from Counter hit Greed Sever. His mix isn't too scary. Like, yeah, there's Greed Sever, but this is rollback now. We can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. JS uh, meeting in the air. Oh, I don't have an excuse for when I get hit by three Greed Severs in a row now. <laughs> right? It's whack. <laughs> This tank got a pretty substantial life here. It didn't take up the first game, but uh, ooh, this will be a big combo. Yeah, ooh, bad burst there, and that's gonna do it. Noise Tank takes the first game of the tournament. Yeah, had to burst there, so I imagine that Noise Tank knew the burst was coming just because, you know, about to close out the game there and your health was so low. But unfortunately, burst got red and got, uh, got punished. And Noise Tank takes game one. I have to say, I've not seen this mirror match that often, despite the fact that uh, Kai is a relatively popular character. I feel like you'd see it more often. Yeah, I wonder if it's in, that Kai is popular online, but not as much popular in the tournament scene, perhaps, or at least of the people you're playing. But either way, here we are back into the action right now, controlling that mid-range there. Catches with a, a little bit of a stun edge clip there. Oh, still Ooh, stun edge under, under the stun edge and punish the bad first. Nice tag with the lightning sphere there for a little bit of extra damage. Look at you knowing the names of moves. <laughs> oh, right, I've been practicing. <laughs> All right, block the charge, stun it. Ooh, two Ooh, gets a throw, but uh, didn't have the meter to convert it from damage. And wake up, green seven. Doesn't get a combo off it. But, uh, you gotta do a little bit of psychic damage to your opponent there. <laughs> oh, so much psychic damage the past two days. Every, everybody in the U.S. knows it. Uh, okay, catches the throw. Roman cancels the throw here. Gonna be able to convert that into a knockdown. What's that gonna be there? Ooh, nice FD break to get the throw afterwards. Sets Ooh, up the stun. Five heavy into the throw. throw. I love the use of setting up the JD off the swing there as well, so you can quite see it as well. Getting to MRC there. Another can getting opened up by the wake up cross of Reef Sever. Oh, and there's a paper thrust loop. Yeah, so sick. Ooh, but get right by the ride the lightning. Michael Dink takes the first round. Alright, showing signs of life here, not going out without a struggle. I like it. That's the round start Reef Sever. Judge Stunned gets the plus frame running with that 2 p Loving the greed setters here. I mean, you know, I'm glad that in the Chimere we're at least getting and giving the people what they want. <laughs> oh, nice. He's lightning here there to uh, stuff a jump in a Not sure if that was a good damage. 
You know, I was gonna say I wasn't sure if that was a conscious choice or if it just worked out, but it sounds like Noise Tank is a very savvy player, so must have been ready for that on some level. Yeah, oh, and there's that uh, that big two heavy counter hit. Kai, really hard character to jump in on. Some of the best anti airs can get to Again with that cross up greed sever, that's like, the, what, three for three on that? On the way yeah, up? something like that. Jinx really gotta, gotta start looking for that. That's a ton of damage he's just getting hit by. Yeah, uh, RC's the Stun Dipper there. Not sure if that was totally necessary or didn't know if it was gonna work out, so just preemptively put it in there. It's the throw. Get you out of it here. Try to mix oh. it up with the G jump. Good dead angle bait, but uh, gets air thrown, and Michael Dink takes the second game. Yo, Dink takes the game. All right. One one. Oh, oh it looks like we had. Looks like we had a third person join a bit too early. Joined a little preemptively. That's okay though. We're all excited to play some gear, so I get it. I get it. Absolutely. I almost entered. I almost entered myself today on that note, but didn't quite. Ah, that would have been great though. Get that. Get some of that venom. Ah, I'm so. Y'all make me uh y'all make me so nervous playing uh playing against y'all. Good players <laughs> in the New England scene. It's scary. <laughs> I'm just I'm still new to gear. I'm just <laughs> Wait, do we get to claim everyone that joins these events as New England? Do we get to be in New York? I I don't know if that's my place to um, it's not my call to make. I, I I'm a uh, I'm Midwest by way of California, so like I'm completely out of this discussion. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like we've got one another player in the lobby that we're waiting to try to pass to cycle through. Uh, they joined a little prematurely, so it's a little unfortunate timing-wise, but, uh, you know, lobbies. Uh, it would be great if we could force the pass, or if it passed after, like, 30 seconds or so, but uh, it is what it is, and here we are. Hope everybody's having a fine day here. Do we have a Macharino for this week? I do not believe we do, no. Okay. Uh, no Macharino this week, although we do have my dog making some noise with her bowl in the background. Sorry about that. <laughs> Please select your character. All right. Back into it here. Michael Dink versus Noise Tank. 1-1. One, one. Your enthusiasm was appreciated, uh, Mo turnips. Mo A turnips, maybe? Don't know. Alright, let's get into it. I appreciate that we've had a uh, we've had a color swap for one of the players every single round. This is very true. So that all that all white tie is a little <laughs> It's a little much for A little aggressive on the eyes there. Like the calcium tie? <laughs> hey, nope. Not that one. <laughs> I see where you're going with it. <laughs> Alright, charge up and over the charge done it. Ooh, nice. Ooh, Just six pin of six heavy moves. Doesn't doesn't get nether, but still a grip of damage there. Yeah. Mm, it's the... Mm, what's the vapor uh, thrust? Vapor thrust. <laughs> yep. Ooh, nice FRC there. I didn't know you could FRC at that point. <laughs> Kaya, in fact, has the most FRCs of any character in uh, this video game. I think he's got 14. Jeez. Uh, that's again, it's a uh, round one. I thought that was a that was a black beat combo too, so didn't necessarily have to go out that way. Alright, that was his corner pressure here, it's a side swap. Uses the JD a little too high, but it did restrict the jump out attempt. Oh, and it would have caught a greed sever or a or a vapor. vapor Absolutely. Ghost, so that's the idea of the pit. That's really smart. Six stuff from those tanks. You know, and sick job of uh, Dink recognizing it as well and not jumping into it or doing it. I absolutely would have got stuck in the final <laughs> But that's the kind of thing that you see in mirror matches. Both player, Especially when both players know what they're doing with their character. Both of these players definitely look like they've been playing Kai for a little while. Yeah, it's like when you're playing a mirror match against somebody and you can quickly get a feel that they that you both have a lot of experience with the character, you can like crank the Yomi wheel like two notches further than you normally would when you're playing the Go back to doing those level zero mix ups. <laughs> oh, we got a bunch of trades there. The the real hallmark of a mirror match. <laughs> oh, I can double stagger. <laughs> Let's go. Oh no, that's so unfortunate for Noise Tank. Can't have yeah. gotten that instant kill there. Must no. be trying to match out. Maybe. Yep. Doesn't have any meters though. Ooh, because... gets caught by the vapor thrust. Doesn't have any meter because 
they went into the instant kills, so they were put in such a bad position there, so they couldn't try to follow this defense, uh, the right of lightning, so the pressure was just on them to make a choice. They couldn't just sit there and hit the offense. It's so unfortunate. Nice yeah. cross-up with the JD. Still playing, but uh, we are now in the last round of this, though. Yeah, last round, last game. What a way to open it up with a mirror match, too. Absolutely. That's some evenly matched Kai gameplay here. Is that Both these players showing those big buttons. Ooh, gets hit by the Greed Sever and then bad burst. A lot of damage here. Look at that. And that's deep into the health bar, too. So you know that Guts is already uh, being applicable there. And that's still taking a lot of damage. Noise Tank get a pretty substantial life lead, but uh, oh, and this might be it. And Noise Tank takes it over Michael Dink for the first uh, screen match of our tournament. Noise Tank stepping out of retirement and picking up a victory. First match of the tournament. Michael Dink sent to the lower half of the bracket. This is double elimination, so still in here, but for now, Noise Tank carries on. Absolutely, and it looks like Flak Maniac is done, so he should be replacing me uh, on commentary soon. All right. Well, uh, I'd like to have you here as always, and I will talk with you more soon. Absolutely, and now that Flak is here, uh, I'm going to go play my match. Knock him dead. All right, this is Swell here if you're just joining, and I'm joined by Flack Maniac. Are you there, Flack? Oh, uh, yes, I'm here. Oh, uh, one second. <laughs> oh, sure, take your time, do your thing. Uh, looks like we're going to have our next match is already queuing up. Looks like it's going to be Sandman Ahoy with Nuclear Cheese. Uh, Nuclear Cheese being one of our players who typically gets like uh, second, if not first place in this, got second place in the big NEO tournament, the NEO tournament that happened. Uh, late last year, a couple weeks back uh, for the end of the year cycle. So uh, no slouch with this soul. And we'll see who Sandman Ahoy is playing. We got another Kai. All right, soul versus Kai. Let's go. All right, we'll get this match underway here. I think the names need to get cycled out. There it is. There we go. Hell yeah. So this should be an interesting matchup because my impression is that Saul just does way more damage. But, um, I mean, obviously, we know Kai has great tools in neutral. Like, uh, the neutral jump JH, Kai players use that a lot, and it's so good at stopping people approaching. Yeah. So the thing, thing is here is, like, I think you're very right there, that in terms of uh, how much more damage Soul can output, since it has that physical sidewinder and like that. It's a, it's like a trade-off for control versus uh, the right of approach. So that's how I'm this matchup. And right now, Nuclear Cheese is putting in that work here. Look at that damage difference already. Yeah, I think in most games, Kai is a pretty stable character where you get lots of knockdowns, good Oki, good neutral, but just, like, not crazy high damage off more stuff. Gotta crank that risk gauge to get that big payout. Nuclear Cheese takes round one. Let's see if we're gonna be here. Wow! Round start, Riot Stomp? All right. Yeah, but not even a counter hit, so maybe it hit overhead. Yeah, we should have party, though. Uh, um, a good response to the uh, Bandit Bringer, so I dropped the combo. And, yeah... I mean, yeah, there's this all over me. That's what man. happened. I like the... Oh, that was Gunflame FRC into Dust to try to catch an overhead from down backing. Wild. Yeah, but... Didn't, didn't work out that way, and that takes a round two very quickly. Sorry, yeah, but Kai got hit by the Gunflame, so the Dust couldn't get him. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's all it's always interesting when people get hit by the... Uh, uh, get hit by one thing and thereby avoid another. Yeah. Alright, looks like the lobby swapped the two players here, so we got Sandman Ahoy on player one side now, Nuclear Cheese on the player two side now, of course it's Kai and Soul, so y'all can pick up on the difference. I trust that y'all are very smart and savvy. Heaven or hell, two one, let's, let's get to it. Alright, checks with the anti-air button, able to get a little blue momentum, but then you can like Yeah, I don't know why like Kai can't put the 2P and the 2S there. I guess about Soul would land. But yeah, you know, charge that. Oh, he can Grand Viper under that. Of course he can. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was uh, that the Grand Viper was able to get underneath it, or if the charge stun it was already passed through Soul by that time. Like, the thing is, I don't know like, how big the tail of its hitbox is, but it wouldn't surprise me if he could Grand Viper underneath it. Yeah, it goes so low. Like, you can Grand Viper under almost anything. You can go under uh, Venom's Dark Angel. It makes me very salty. Yo, it's under the stun ray there. Yeah, I mean, the stun ray was pretty high up, but that's what we're talking about there. It goes low profile under so much. This round looking much closer for Sandman Ahoy. But as I say that... Oh, we're gonna get around... Yeah! Oh, well, that should've killed it. Okay, there we go. Finally. All right, Sandman Ahoy showing a, showing a pulse here. 
Not going out without a fight. Yeah, when you see people drop the basic air combos in this game, just remember that there isn't any kind of buffering. So even just doing like a jump cancel into an air normal is much harder in this game than in like Blaze Blue or Exarch. Yeah, it's uh, it, it is tricky and has took me a while to get used to the combo in this game compared to some other stuff. Nice, get the Sidewinder loops here, sitting on a perfect right now with a big ol' life. Jumps away up and out of the dust. Here. Yo, he turns into a perfect the whole way through. Does. Yo, and then dragon install on the kill? For the top, I guess? I don't know. Oh yeah, 100%. 100%. Oh, air through the burst. <laughs> do exactly what Kai would do. Or was just pressing JH with forward, whatever. So much psychic damage from all of this. Yeah, the, the secret is if you're just doing JH, just make sure you're holding four or six and you'll accidentally air throw people a lot. Yeah, it's gotta be on the, it can't be on the diagonal line, it has to be on this sort of straight horizontal line. Yep. Which uh, messes me up, because I need some games where you can get away with using the bag. For now, though. So, oh, okay, supers through it, doesn't able, isn't able to get any connection out of it, but that was the intention behind it. That was a good oh. neutral jump gauge from Kaido. Even if it doesn't lead to much. Yeah, and Nuclear Cheese takes game two. Sandman Ahoy is sent to the lower half of the bracket, Nuclear Cheese advances onward. Well fought from Sandman Ahoy, I was able to take a round, but Nuclear Cheese's soul is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I mean, he just finds all these cheeky ways to get in. You know, you're playing against him and, you know, you can't stop thinking about Grand Viper or any of these other weird tools for even a second. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like you'll have Nuclear Cheese next in the bracket. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. So have, have fun with that. Yeah, well, he'll Grand Viper under my stuff and I'll Gunblaze under his. Nice. I like it. I like it. There's a balance here. All right, so it's like we're going to have uh, Jace coming up against Mo Turnips. Unless that's Moe Turnips. If it is Moe Turnips, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. Someone someone, let me know if that's the case. Yeah, that's For how now. I read the name, but I'm not sure. Yeah. And uh, Jace showing up with their Bridget, if memory serves. And not sure who Mo plays here. I'll, I'll say turnips. There we go. That, that way, aha, I can just avoid having to say that word entirely by just going to turnips. Let's see who turnips plays here. Do you have any idea? No, I haven't heard of this player before. Okay. Which could easily just be because, you know, I don't hear about players outside of my locals, but... <laughs> for sure, for sure. Are you uh, with the New England scene as well? Yeah, yeah, near Boston. Gotcha, okay. All right, oh, cool. We got Jam versus Bridget here. So this would be a little bit... Uh, so this is going to be really hard if Bridget can make space here, just because Jam doesn't have a lot of distance options, aside from, you know, being able to, like, puff ball or get a region and stuff like that. Can. And Jam has a lot of invincible options, so some of Bridget's moves up. Jace, though, very strong player, has a lot of experience. My guess is that Jam can use Ryujin and Air Ryujin to contest a lot of Bridget's floaty stuff, but we'll see. Here from Jace, gets the set. There goes Jagged Roger there. Ooh, gets overhead. the set. overhead. Nice. Here we got the floor. Put the fetch back on it. I had to say, ooh, a lot of movement back and forth over uh, here. Not able to see much action from Turnip's chest yet. Turnip really needs to score a knockdown and charge up the charge. Right now, if I make it with Jam, that's gotta be a hard feeling. Oh! The Faultless Defense to push back into the Jagged Roger, that was really sick. Yeah, and Jagged Roger doesn't disappear when you enter the block. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I like that a lot, using the Faultless Defense. It's really cool to use the Faultless Defense uh, to push back into that. Air dash overhead, gets opened up, but, I mean, you see Bridget doesn't do that much damage for a hit. It needs to work very hard. Yeah, ooh, Roger Rush, the combo into the corner there. Nice air sequence. Look at the damage off of that there. Like, I know you were just saying that about Bridget, but off of that uh, Roger special into, with the wall splat, that was uh, got a lot of damage. Although, Jam's kind of made a paper, though, so maybe a little bit less than it might seem. All right, that's game one for Jace. Let's see if Turnips can come up with something to do here. Let's get into it. Yeah, I feel like I want to see more Ryujin in neutral. I mean, I don't know if it'll work, but I, I want to see it attempted. Well, I feel like you could be able to back off of Bridget, too, because, like, if you can get some space just to charge your cards, because, like, that would... Like, Turnips, I don't think you saw a single card in the whole set. There we go. Okay. Oh, really? The air throw back into Jacket Roger? 
I'm not sure if that was intentional or if that was an accident that it messed up the controller that looked really good. First out, has a stock up on cards now, so if able to get a knockdown or any kind of a solid hit here, might be able to convert it into some nice pressure. It's, wow, air thrown by base there. Chase playing very strong so far. Yeah, Jason's just so in control. Just like every neutral situation, every knockdown, I don't know, just exactly what you'd want to see from a Bridget player. I feel like perhaps it might be a thing too where Bridget's got a lot of flexibility with how uh, he can play around the matchup, or play around matchups in general, just since Bridget has so many options with how to go with So even if Turnips does have experience fighting Bridget, but doesn't have experience fighting Jason. Oh, nice with the other side. Okay, good use of some buff ball there, trying to get some offense going. All right, here we go, signs of life. Mm, short combo, not able to get too much out of it. I think these situations are just really dangerous when the yo-yo is behind you, because if you try to approach, yeah, that happens. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, you had, you had the, the commentator uh, foresight and vision there, just like that. First there, back into the corner. Not able, having so much trouble pinning down Jason. This has got to be very frustrating for Turnips to do. Right? I mean, if, I, if I'm Turnips here, I, I am slowly getting more. <laughs> this has got to be frustrating. Just trying to chase down and can't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, lots and of no cards. Not able to do it. Had the hit in the region too. Nice. All right. Pretty got some stuff here. Has a little bit of life left here, but there's meter on deck from Jace, so one good, uh, not much meter left. Oh, flips. Closes it out. I was going to say not much meter left for turnips, so you know, even just a bad bit of chip damage might call it, but or might take it. Yeah, when you have that little health and you have to faultless mm -hmm. everything, you're just so restricted. Because, I mean, if you run out of meter, you can just die. And also, mm -hmm. sometimes you don't want to faultless. You want to keep them close. Yeah, especially if you're playing someone like Jam, where like you push him out a little bit. That's unless you've got your cards locked and loaded. That's ugh, every little bit of distance hurts. All right, though. Jace takes it 2-0 over turnips. Mo turnips, mo a turnips. You may never know. And I am back. What up, tails? Hello. How the uh, how the stream match go? That was very cool. Uh, we saw Bridget versus Jam. A little bit of a struggle for Jam there, and, but of course it's Jace, so Jace is just strong in general, too. Yeah, and we saw some pretty crazy mix-ups, like the left-right overdash, or air dash overheads, and the, um, whatever that weird float overhead is, where I guess you use the float move from the ground to go to the Oyo and then, like, cancel it into an air move or something. Oh, yeah, the roll. It, uh, it rolls you to where the Yo-Yo's at. Yeah, it's, yeah, just lots of hard-to-block stuff, and, um, you know, even if you need, like, five combos to kill them, if you just keep them locked down, then, uh, <laughs> it works. Yeah, uh, it, it worked out eventually, and there was even a little bit of, uh, just, like, playing, uh, a runaway timer scam type game, and just forcing Jam to make a bad approach there. But, it's always a delight to see Bridget, though, especially Jason's, and Jason's been playing for a long, long time, right? Absolutely. So who do we have next? Mm -hmm. Oh cool, Poncho vs. Skeletal. Oh, it sounds like Poncho's another one of your regulars from your Z? Uh, yeah, Poncho's been in the, the New England FGC for a while. I don't think he's played a ton of Guilty Gear before the, the rollback patch dropped, but He's, he's been around since at least when I started in, like, 08. All right. Wait, so what are his usual games? Uh, I know he played some Tekken, he played some Street Fighter. He, uh, the, the Springfield scene mostly seems to play everything a little bit. Oh, okay. Getting educated on New England lore. Okay, okay. Yeah, I feel like there's just so many Tekken players. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's, it's one of the biggest games. I play a little bit of Tekken. I'm not super, super savvy in it. I've been playing way more gear lately than, I, than I've played Tekken. Like, every now and again, I'll, like, get into Tekken for, like, two-week bursts. But, like, it's it's not my first love, so I'm only around with Tekken every now and again. See, Tekken was, in a way, my first fighting game. I had Tekken 5 on the PlayStation 2 before I really knew anything properly about fighting games. I wanted mm -hmm. Soul Calibur, but my parents thought it was too violent. I ended up getting Tekken, and... 
Uh, I very much liked it at the time, but then right after that, I got Guilty Gear X2, and then that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, I um, I Tekken Tekken 3 was the Tekken that I played the most of, just because that was on PS1, and when it came out, it was a good time when I wasn't uh, doing too much in my life because I was young. So I just played a bunch of Tekken 3 because it's uh, also it had like a ton of content on that disc for uh, fighting game at the time too. Tekken uh, Fourth, I believe, was in that game. Something that fighting games are still struggling with nowadays, right? Look, Isaka may not be a good Guilty Gear game, but at least it came with a beat em up mode. <laughs> right, right. Well, there's always that tension where the mainstream reviewers and the public at large wants lots of modes and content and one player stuff. And, you know, us hardcore players, we're like, well, we just need more training mode features. Give me, like, dummy reversal instead of all this one player stuff. I just, uh. I don't mind having the one player stuff, but it is just, it is a thing of like, there's so much budget that has to go to that, especially for like cutscene, voice acting, and stuff like that, compared to like more time spent developing other aspects of the game. But yeah. it'd be what it be. But if it means more sales and more sequels, then great. <laughs> I never played Isaka. Is that like just a beat em up, or is it. Uh, no, though? it was a four player Guilty Gear fighting game where you pressed a button to turn around. Uh, okay. Yeah, four players, two planes of action, so you could switch uh, yes. planes and you could turn around. Wait, so could you play... Was Venom in the game? Yes, it was uh, right. between Reload <laughs> and Slash. Uh, okay. It is the game that ABBA debuted in. Uh, it also had a completely uh, separate soundtrack. <laughs> if you have played I Wanna Be the Guy, you will recognize the entire Isaka soundtrack for being inside that. I see, I see. And a uh, nice... Uh, Nice segue as well with the ABBA comment that is who Skeletal Minion should be playing here. Skeletal Minion, the winner of Neo, that happened about three weeks ago for the end of the year. Yep. And, winner uh, of Neo, Evo 2017 champion, one of the best players in the country, if mm-hmm. not the best. Oh, I didn't. Oh, uh, I didn't. I see what you said. I misheard that as an Evo champion, unless. Skeleton yes. Is yes. As yes. Evo 2017 champion for plus Oh, Yo, sick! I didn't know that. Godlike. All right. I don't even, how would you even play Isika now? Do you play Isika on like? Is there a Steam version of it? Do you have to emulate it? Uh, let me check to see if I have a Steam version of Isika because I think I have all of the Guilty Gear games on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do not have it on Steam, so my guess is there is not a Steam version of Isika. All right, let's go investigate. Because you need to emulate. Oh, there or... is. Uh, hold on, I'm purchasing Isaka for <laughs> on Steam. <laughs> you are rewarding bad behavior and bad games. <laughs> uh huh. Look, so we all got guilty pleasures that we do. All right, we gonna. So some people wanna wanna buy McDonald's when they shouldn't. Some people wanna buy Guilty Gear Isaka. Who are we to judge? Yep, uh, Punch was having trouble finding the, the channel. Oh, I'm telling him where it's at now. Looks like person just joined the lobby. Uh, David Smith of 1up.com called Isaka uh, an irrational control scheme. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, playing, imagine playing Guilty Gear, but to block cross ups, you have to press R1. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so uh, into the match with uh, Johnny versus Abba. Skeletal minion, skeletal minion on Abba, uh, Poncho on Johnny, and this will be. I think it's fair to say that Skeletal Minion is the one walking in here as the favorite, so Poncho is going to have to support. Uh, Abba has that power up mode, Roha, which people watching may not know about. Uh, you notice the little meter go up. Oh, all right, gets an opening there. Mm, not able to convert it to anything else, so unfortunate. So how is this matchup supposed to go? Like Johnny's obviously great at mid range, but. Uh, I imagine Johnny really wants to get that that early momentum going because uh, Abba will just r- run, run house on anybody once he gets into Marama. Yeah, and Johnny's reverse game isn't terribly strong, I don't think. Or is Goku Maroha? Uh, no, he's got one reversal super, but it's relatively easy to bait. Still here, doing a lot of work on Hunter Blythe. Not yep. even gonna oh, and Reka loops for the kill. 
doesn't even have to exit uh, Goku Mo Hot and help no, back and able to close out that combo right there. Absolutely. Uh, Poncho getting getting an early level up, but uh, kind of lets Abba get the Moroha mode relatively free. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things, too, especially when you're fighting someone who you know, has some... Ooh, <laughs> Ultra Minion uh, noticing that Poncho is not is not uh, matching out of the stagger and, and kind of getting, like, five reps of that Rekka. Oh, so you could go to match out of that so you can how fast it goes? Yeah, the, the second hit of the Rekka staggers. So, uh, if the other two people are not mashing out, then she can just keep doing the first two uh, reps over and over again. Alright, game one goes to Skeleton Minion Zabba. And Lem hops in the stream again. We're having another early joiner. No, <laughs> we got a cap. Uh, so if you're if you're a Johnny player, you must practice the um, uh, one hit in Senga into Mist Unblockable on ABA more than on any other character, right? Because you can just like IK off that if you loop it enough. Well, you got to be able to score a knockdown off of it. Or are you saying? Or, or am I? I'm sorry. I might I might be misunderstanding. Yeah, one hit in Senga. Into um, Miss Unblockable into another one hand. Oh, okay. Right? Miss Unblockable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Len, Len, if you are thing. watching the stream, we need you to pass. Pass. You are not supposed to be in the stream room yet. Pass or mark yourself as a spectator, please. Oh no, we're held hostage. Okay. There, there we go. go. There we go. Actually, yeah, because uh, host can remove people. Hmm. All right, all right. And uh, what I was saying there earlier, um, before the match got underway and the mauling took place, um, something that happens with power-up characters, characters that need to get that momentum established and get into their power-up mode, is especially when those characters are played by a player of notoriety. It's scary to think I have to assert myself against them because you know they're a strong player. People get gun shy about putting that pressure on against somebody who's probably ready for it and you know you might get nervous about that but in a match like this though where once she gets her momentum started in Moroha you're at such a deficit you have to try to assert that offense absolutely uh, my, my, my first match of this turn was back against that we have another one which is exciting that was a cool character very cool character oh who was it it was uh I'm blanking on names because I'm not looking. Uh, thank you, JP. That is over. I think might have wanted to get a different button there to get a cross up, but. Ooh, they the first. burst. Not able to convert the burst punish into a knockdown, but still able to maintain a lot of pressure. On the it is. It is hard to figure out when to burst an Abbott almost. That is big damage off corner normal throw. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a little wild. Yeah, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the biggest buffs ABBA got from Action Court plus R is uh, ABBA used to take a, a, a 20% damage loss when she entered her Goku and she does not anymore. What is wow. that? She's going to grab round start? Good stuff. <laughs> Some, sometimes she's got to swing for the fences. Alright, casual 50% uh, of your health already gone. Ooh, wow. fuzzy guard. Yeah, double over and then Goku, yep, that, that is the unblockable, and I believe this is going to kill. Uh, nope, but this was set up into the unblockable first, but the first is baited, and Skeletal Minion takes it over Poncho. Alright, Skeletal Minion 2-0 over Poncho, Poncho sent to the lower half of the bracket. Yeah, I think both those characters are really hard to burst against, just lots of really long-range stuff that's naturally burst safe. Mm -hmm. Totally, I see that. I mean, Guilty Gear in general has a lot of naturally burst safe stuff compared to like Blaze Blue, but um, yeah, Johnny and yeah, just tons of hugely disjointed moves. All right, so I think that should be Tails and Lem will be coming up here, so I'm guessing Tails will be uh, stepping away again to go play out their match. That I will be. All right, good luck, Tails. Thank you. All right, Tails. Yeah, let's see what Tails has got for us today. Oh, I've been fighting Tails Anji a whole bunch lately. Uh, there's another... Uh, yeah, by happenstance, we happen to be neutrals on another server, so uh, we have been playing Venom versus Anji a lot. Yeah, Tails is my most played opponent by far in this game, and... Ah, I see. Yeah, just... Um, yeah, I don't know. It, uh, like, a lot of people I hear complain about Anji being an annoying character to fight, but I don't really get it, because, like, yeah, Anji has good stuff like Fujin, but, I don't know, his tools aren't even that crazy. It's like... 
I don't know if I agree with that sentiment, that that crazy, but in isolation they wouldn't be, but it's like having so many of them is just like, what? Like, how many different moves of his have auto guard or invulnerability in some aspect or some such? Which, you know, by, by all means, I'm not like complaining about the character too much, but I, it, does, it does leave me like, oh, come on, what can I do against this well, character? Well, here's, here's my pro tip if you want to bait Fujin, do a meaty 2P and then delay it just a tiny amount and press close slash or whatever your biggest, um, you know, big fast starter is. Because mm-hmm. on hit, it'll just gabbling 2P close slash, right? And then on whiff, you'll get 2P, which whiffs through the start of Fujin, and then close slash, which will counter hit him out of it. Ah, I see, I see. Or you can just like do 2P, 2K, or just keep matching 2P, because that cancels into itself on whiff. So if you're afraid of wake up Fujin, you have lots of good options to uh, to bait it, um, and it's still, you know, get a meaty if you, um, if you didn't do it. And oh, it's then... not so much the wake up Fujin, it's that, uh, a lot of my, um, a lot of, uh, Venom's, uh, mid-screen ball setups, uh, Anji can just Fujin through. Oh yeah, I can't help you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it sucks. It's okay, though. <laughs> that's alright, though. That's, that's fighting games. But yeah, also, a lot of the, um, a lot of the butterfly oh, setups you can disrespect, like, some of them aren't meaty, so you can jump out, and then you should, like, JH or something to catch him super jumping at you. Or yeah. some of the others, um, it like hits meaty, but then you can jump and block the second part so he can't high low you during it. Just stuff like that. You can, All right. like, you can often mitigate it a bit. Um, and if you have really low profile moves, you might be able to go under some of them. Well, let's see how if let's see if Lem can put any of that to use here against Tails. Oh no! Did the room crash? Oh no! Room busted. Or at least Lem busted. Hopefully, we can get this sorted out. Sorry for technical delays, folks. We all want to see Cliff versus Anji. Yeah, I don't know how this matchup works. I want to see it. All right. Hopefully we'll be able to get this sorted out here from Lem. Uh, unfortunately, we are you know, online tournaments be what they be. Hopefully Lem can get in here soon. In the meantime, Cliff versus Anji. I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, cause like, you were saying you can try to low profile under some stuff. I wonder if Cliff can do his like, uh, vault move on his sword up and over the butterfly. Hmm, maybe for some of the setups, but if, it, if it's on his wake up, he probably has to block it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One thing that might help Cliff is you might just do a meaty disc, cause the disc has a ton of active frames, right? So maybe, maybe that just catches Fujin. I was wondering that too, but I wasn't sure if Fujin traveling across would be able to, like, get away from where the disc plays. Oh, is it you might have to disc from really far? Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I wish we had more of a local clip so I could I could know more about this matchup. Um, oh, is Lem not uh, local to the New England team? Uh, well, I haven't played against Lem before, or at least okay. not more than once. Gotcha. All right, all right. Yeah, I mean, well, Lem is on the New England Anime Fighters Discord constantly showing up for matches every night, so that's that's what I'll say. Certain, right, right, certainly a little less experience than elsewise there. Okay. Alright, so, active for 27 frames. Wow, okay, that'll probably stuff Fujin. Yes, it, it'll, it'll, <laughs> yeah. Because I was thinking, like, Fujin's got, like, I always forget how many active frames that Cliff Disc has. What? 27 yeah, I, I, I knew it was a lot. I didn't know it was 27, but, you know, that's, yeah, <laughs> that's Guilty Gear. Yeah. And yeah, as the viewers probably know, Fujin is only invulnerable for 12, but it hits on frame 20, so if you delay something or have an effective frame, you can just you can just beat Fujin. Uh, Lem is New York, I am being told. All oh, right. New York, all right. Sick. All right, Lem coming in from New York with this cliff. I want to say Lem got top eight in Neo. Um, yeah, I'm confident about that. Yeah, I feel like I don't really know the New York Guilty Gear people very well, but I know some of the New York Blaze Blue people. Yeah, we had a couple of the New York folks. Uh, we had one of the New York folks, uh, Milky J, uh, or at least has experience in the New York scene. Not sure if Milky J is still in New York on commentary with me for Neo, so I was getting whole lot of east coast in new york oh yeah and, uh lore so you know all right looks oh we have skeletal minion joining maybe we're advancing to a different match in the bracket possibly 
Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, I will sort it out. Our TO's got it. I'm very confident in their ability. Thank you folks for joining us here on commentary. So sorry for some of the matches uh, holding up for a minute. We'll get it underway for you real soon here. Yes, James will give us some match. Everyone, sorry about that. The room, uh, the room crashed, but it didn't look like it had on my side. Uh, we should have. Uh, we're just sorting things out with Noise Tank Skeletal, um, but we will uh, be running uh, Tails of One. Uh, apologize for the confusion. Yeah, we'll get matches up here soon. Thank you very much. Uh, and that was, of course, JMD, Just Mash Dust, here holding it down, helping us organize all this stuff and get it going. Much appreciated. We got Tails, we got Lem in the room. Fingers crossed that our game loads nice and smoothly. Oh, uh, there goes left. Oh, I was so sad. I was. My heart was so, so amped for it. Damn. Maybe he's talking about Isika. Curse the stream. Well, at least we're not playing Isika. <laughs> we can run it as a joke tournament sometime. I want to try Isika now. If it's got Venom in it, I'll give it a shot. Venom's my fave. Well, maybe if they ever give it rollback netcode, <laughs> which it'll be the last Guilty Gear game to get it. Alright, we got Lem back in the room here. Fingers crossed we were able to connect without an issue. Yeah, I wonder if there's anyone in the world who actually doesn't like Venom, because I feel like there's two types of people. There's people who say, oh, Venom is really cool, but he's way above my pay grade to play him, and then there's Venom players. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I... Like, it... I lucked out with Venom, because, like, I originally played, like, Guilty Gear just, like, in passing, like, I don't know, six, seven years ago, something like that. I tried it for, like, a couple afternoons with friends, but I was like, really cool game. Little, little, little past B. But I tried Venom enough to, like, get the idea of things, and then, like, coming back into into Guilty Gear now, I'm like, yeah, I get it. And Venom is a blast to play. Alright, we got Lemon Tails in the room. Fingers crossed to be able to connect. I will say it is nice playing uh, Venom in that, like, sometimes you play a character and people are like, ah, you're carried by that character, or, ah, that character is so brain dead, which, like, some characters I play in some games, for sure, but Venom, nah, everyone's always like, ah, yes. Like, yeah, yeah, they, they know you have more PhDs than they do if you're a Venom player. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> or if you win, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I guess I tend to play pretty simple characters like, you know, Ordersol. I, I I think if Ordersol is not the most popular character, he should be, but he probably is, because, um... I mean, like, you know, people, people talk about, oh, you know, he's simple and straightforward, and that's true, but, like, he just has so much... He just has so much stuff that's not very hard to execute. Like, people think of high, Guilty Gear as a high execution game, and it is, especially at the top level, or, like, there's a lot of really hard stuff that's available to do, but oh, here we go. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm just excited for the match now. That was an interesting opening of that uh, slow Anji normal. Yeah, I'm not sure what the intention is. Okay, if you're able to hop there, you're not trying to stay close. Oh, with a chop and limb. Yep, the un OTG into the disc. Pull vaults up and over to get close. Get speed by Anji there. Quickly with the low, not even get too much L off the low. Nice RC off of the low extension. Fusion to keep the pressure up. Catches out the burst there. Ooh, he's gonna top it in here. Ooh, put by the stomp. I'm not sure if that was, uh, doesn't know that you have to block that high, or if that was an instant block of heaven. Oh, reversal super. <laughs> Yo, what? That looks so cool. Yeah, how did they get it back into the corner? That was so weird. Oh, and then uh, overhead ran. Overhead takes it. Round one. Tails. Yeah, regular Rin is super slow, so you shouldn't really get hit by it overhead, but FB Rin is fast enough that sometimes you'll... Yeah, you get put by it. Oh, nice hit with the chop to interrupt the butterfly, catch it with the disc. Oh, so we're talking about trying to use the disc to control the horror level space to make sure that uh, Anji can't just uh, zip on through everything. Yeah, yeah even, even the light disc just seems good at contesting Fusion at that range. Uh, but the light disc is actually really the one that has more active range. Oh, okay, well, then great. <laughs> just use it all day. <laughs> I think it's um, S or H on it, and the S version is. Oh, okay. 
knockdown. Good contest on the Rin with the Cliff 2D. Like, after you block Fujin, you have to be willing to sometimes just, you know, mash sweep to try to counter hit him. Oh, yeah, okay, it's uh, P and S for the, um, for the disc. Uh, the P version is the S plus. Yeah, the way I think of it after blocking Fujin is that if you just commit to mashing a low, you can counter hit him out of Rin. And if you get counter hit by Nagiha, you still don't take very much damage. So it's, um, you know, I like to play a bit cavalier after blocking Fujin. Yeah, the, the risk reward is not too, super high if you uh, are mashing that low appropriately. Yeah, and if he wants to RC Nagiha for a full combo, like, he can do it, but whatever, it costs him resources. Okay, that's game one. Tails takes it over Lem. Lem, though, uh, had signs of life there. Hardly a pushed over on that whole exchange. So Lem uh, may be able to turn this around here. Let's see how it goes. All right. Tails up the game on G versus Cliff. Yeah, it looked like Lem was eventually contesting the um, Fujin into hop throw. Yeah, my understanding is that you have to get the, uh, oh, the ground hop, not just the stomp. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, follow up, I think it is. Oh, nice, interrupts the dust there. Also, that 6H to, uh, to beat that Fujin early in the round, like that, <laughs> yeah, that was really, really exciting. Right, Tony trying to get in there, has the rope cancel it to keep the pressure up. Nice. It's a side swap on that, so it doesn't get the corner pressure out of it. It got a ton of damage, and able to close out the round. I'm just impressed Tails blocked that rising fuzzy. You know, that's, right? that's good stuff. I would have got hit. Corner here. We're going to score a corner combo there. It uses the force for the extended combo, but we saw the burst afterwards. Lem already down about half a life bar. Oh, hit overhead by regular Ram. Oh, it's delayed too long on that, um, 2H. Is that more normal? I think they changed the morale at some point. I'm not totally sure which uh, which one that one was there. But that's around. That's around again. Tails sitting on match point currently. Yeah, but it's looked pretty competitive. It's the sort of thing where like both of them probably know it can go either way. Yeah, this is totally something where uh, Lem can make this happen. Too. Like Lem seems like an experienced enough player where you know not gonna not gonna go out without a fight. It's the grab under. It's gonna be butterfly pressure. Checking. Uh, I was looking for the uh, jump out there, possibly with the 5k, or trying to just dash under the butterfly. Ooh. Those charge six ages beating Fujin, and just e even with only canceling to the drill, like that was pretty good damage. Yeah, but that's the second time that Tails has gone for the standing dust, and the and Lem has caught it out with two feet. Very heads up play. Yeah, just willing to mash there, which sometimes you just gotta be willing to mash. Well, I don't even know if it's willing to mash or if Lem actually has the reactions to do that. Oh, is... maybe. <laughs> Pretty godlike him, so. I, I don't think Anji's 5D is one of the slowest ones, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's. I think it's a little on the slower end because it has the upper body invulnerability. Like, that's the payoff. Yeah, the guard point. Yeah, it, it, it has a super long guard point. Anji can often just anti-air you with 5D into a guard point move. And if you think he's going to do that, you just empty jump and sweep for a counter hit. Also, what we, saw, oh, go ahead, sorry. what we saw in the last round was um, not only like discs can beat Fujin, but uh, Drill also stays active for a long time to beat Fujin in neutral. So I think Cliff has a lot of moves that are good for just making Fujin dangerous. Yeah, Cliff comes well prepared for the fight. There it is again with the discs up in Fujin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how active the S and H moves oh, are. But I love I love that FRC to keep the pressure up there. So sorry about that. Yeah, it's yeah. I, I think I, I think Cliff has a lot of good skills here. All right, looking up and around. Ooh, the hop, the hop into the throw. Lem sitting on match point here. Oh no, gets hit by the overhead. Oh my god, the clash with the orb. That's so good. Whoa, really? That was so sick. Yeah, the orb was late. If the orb had hit Meaty, then that move wouldn't have clashed with it. But still. Yeah, hey, yeah. If, if I'm Lem, I'm feeling, I'm feeling very satisfied with that one there. Yeah, like if you match two people wake up and you clash with their overhead orb, like that's just got to feel amazing. Like you really got away with one. All right, fair amount of meter on both sides here, so we could see a dead angle or some other attempt at a reversal situation to get out of this. Both sides got. Oh, there's the RC to keep the pressure here. Yeah, and more discs to contest Fujin. 
it just yeah I think I think Lem's figured out what to do with neutral just uh, use stuff that has really high active frames first on both sides here Lem takes it over tails really all right let's go Lem unfortunate for tails our uh, our glorious co-host that looks like the name got a uh, got swapped there at some point but that was Lem's cliff taking it over tails uh, 2 0 very well played by by uh, Lem and making that happen. Yeah, just counter hit so many Fujins. Yeah. Huh. All right, Cliff. What a beast. Yeah. Well, maybe maybe if you want to contest Fujin in neutral with Venom, you should use your two hit sweep. Uh, I that's what kind of what I have to do a lot of the time. The only problem is that um, I don't get unless I start doing the very big brain combos, I don't get a ton of reward off of a knockdown. Mm, yeah. Doubly so because on comboing on Anji. Is what oh, is it? Because to me, he seems pretty um, pretty convenient. He's like uh, pretty wide and just kind of big. I'll I'll riff on this in a little bit, but for now, we got our next match already queued up here. So let's hop to that. We got Noise Tank versus Skeletal Minion. Noise well, Tank yeah. coming, coming out of retirement, as we mentioned earlier, on Kai, Have and we got Skeletal hell. Minion on Avalon. Yep, another Kai player. Oh, option. Oh yeah, let me go and do that. Oh, nice. Uh, just slides on past. Throw, and there's the Moreau Hopper. Yeah, sliding past that charge stunage there, making me think that this is a uh, grand <laughs> Tough, tough break in that match there, but seems like a uh, Lemsner slide show. So you know, he'll be and I have there. approximately zero cliff knowledge, so. <laughs> Oof, and uh, Noise Tank's gonna have approximately zero life bar after this combo. Yep, oof. Alright. Skeleton Minion. Uh, looking pretty nice there in that first round. Absolutely, but we get that Brown Star Great Sever. Oh, but this should be the transformation. FRC and E grab. Oh, Vapor Thrust uh, up and over the low option, but it was spaced properly. That is no reward. You know, Skeleton Minion had to have known that was coming. It must be must be that to bait out the DPS. Kai's DP notoriously easy to bait because uh, Hitbox doesn't really start until roughly the other opponent. Or the oh, other okay. Not oh, a so great DP, but it is the one he's got. <laughs> Skeleton Minion takes game one. So it's the sort of thing where, like, if you're crouching, it might go over your head, too, if you're not, like, right on top of them. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, a lot of moves will low profile it. Reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, CCL in um, Melty. Her, except in that case, it's hard-coded where her DP will whip on crouchers. Just literally any crouching move it'll whip. Huh. Yeah. Unless she catches out here. But then it's, it's meant to stop jumping. So. It's on a 2-2 input, though, so it's still kind of, like, you know... Okay, then. Sorry, I've had to talk about my I apologize. Nope. Knock down the charge. Get a knockdown, and uh, this is what Noise Tank needs to get that, get that pressure in early. Before, before we see the see more of No activation on it just yet. Ooh, as I say that. Alright, full side of it. I just think he's trying to, trying to avoid uh, skeleton the skeleton from going out here. Pressure in the corner. So this seems like it's potentially not a bad situation for Kai if Kai can score some good pressure there. Just because it seems like Kai has to raise really keep up the blood strength without necessarily having to. Win. It didn't work out here though. But just in terms of like running the clock on the way. Absolutely. Ooh, we get the burst throw and then there's the uh, the cross up JH for the kill. That's Stealth bad. And one round away. Get a clash, or get a clash. There's that knockdown in the corner. Let's go. Uh, ooh, a dust combo. Here we go. Yeah, this is this is something. Nice little bit of damage there. Got to show off some cool uh, dust. I like the JD uh, into trying to create some mega pressure to buy a nice opportunity here. Absolutely. Oh, corner. Blocks the great sever. Really charge stun it. Runs into the plus frame. Nice uses lightning here to maintain control of the situation. I like this. Noise Tank's doing a really good job in this round. I'm not sure if it's just a skeleton is playing a little location. Or if Noise Tank is great. Yo, that wall triple wall battle? Yeah, oh, six eight. That's knocked out. Oh, and this can do it. Oh, and that could have been an IK, but just gets luckily takes the round anyway. You know, with the health being so low, probably just thought. And after there was the bad, the bad IK attempt earlier, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was Noise Tank who lost all the 
Yep. Might have just wanted to just play it safe if she help us solo anyway. However, ooh, unfortunately, we're going to try to way different. Yep. Got that ring for a homo. Just deals so much damage. Especially compared to Kai. Ooh, and this, this should be it, folks. Kai is just an honest king. Is he a king in this game? Uh, no, not yet. Ah, okay. Okay. Certainly not a king right now. King of nothing but the floor. Skeleton Minion takes that game. Noise Tank sent to the lower half of the bracket. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay, so Kai's, Kai's IK could have definitely... Yep, Kai's uh, sitting there with, with Venom for fastest IKs in the game. Oh, I didn't know Venom's was one of the faster ones. All I, right. Yeah, but I don't know who's fastest, but I believe it's Kai and Venom are uh, in one and two. Yeah, they're somewhere. they're up there. All right. Cool. More Venom info. So Skeleton Minion took that one. Our our favorite continues to be the favorite, advancing in. Absolutely. Yeah. Who do we have up next? I think Kai's is the fastest. Uh, Venom's is like 26 frames startup, it looks like. Hmm. Ooh, Skeletal Minion versus Lem. So we're going to have Abba versus Cliff. Ooh, matchup of two characters that uh, have not made it into any games past this. Yeah, and their, uh, their weapons both being substantially larger than they are. <laughs> How many Abbas do you think it takes to weigh as much as the key? <laughs> uh, I feel like there, there's a reasonable chance that that information is available. <laughs> wait, wait, is there any, are there any Guilty Gear lore experts here who can track us down the weight of the different characters? <laughs> I'm almost certain that Abba's weight exists somewhere, but I, does anyone know if Parcel Sauce's weight is anywhere? Wait, what's the, what's the key's name? Uh, Parcel Sauce? Parcel Sauce? I do not know how to pronounce it. Pars how do you spell it? Uh, P A R A C E L S U S. Parcelsus. Okay. It was a. Ah, okay. Here, more lore. Uh, <laughs> Paracelsus uh, was a Swiss physician, alchemist, lay theologian, and philosopher of the German Renaissance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was a pioneer in the medical revolution. Huh. Okay, well, that makes sense with the blood bags. Uh, uh, I Sid. believe Abba is also Swiss. All right, cool. Uh, what did this guy discover? Let's find out. This is how I'm gonna wait. Okay, I can talk about game stuff, or I can talk more about <laughs> Parrot Celsus. Which, which, which do you want? I'm the guest here. Okay, wait. We have a match. Thank God. Thank you for <laughs> from, <laughs> from this horrible lore information. All right, Skeletal Minion versus Lim. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I'm, now I got the now now I've got the uh, wiki page for Paracelsus pulled up. Hmm, all right, we got filler info for days now. Hope you're all already about some German. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Skeleton Minion versus Lem. We got Abba versus Cliff. Let's go, Lem. Uh, all right, what do you want to see happen to Lem after uh, after fighting? <laughs> uh, I I am interested to see how much damage Abba comes to the Cliff. Cliff is a uh, notoriously made of paper. Okay, nice combo there. Carried into the corner. Ah, gets a throw knock there. Is it this row? Is it a second disc there? We did see a second Ooh, disc. Oh, Goku Yeah, the Goku Moroha activate to try to uh, involve do it. I didn't work out. Okay, Lem, I see you. Look at this. So, this looks really close right now. Yeah, but there it is. One clean starter, and okay, still had burst on deck here. If Skeletal Minion gets like one hit here or a throw just like that, this is going to even up the health bars. This might even be the round. That's a, that's a full bar on deck here. Oh. oh dropped it and gets scooped. <gasps> the Abba Killer? <laughs> uh, is this the first round that Skeletal Minion has lost today? Um. Maybe, I'm not totally certain. I'm not 100% certain. But it might be. Oh, Lem here. Easy. Ooh, unblockable. Oh, and there's the dizzy end. This, this should be the kill. Yeah, not even worth the burst. Oh, Lem, I want you to be the key slater. Please. 
I can check the TP there. Oh, nice. Okay, the TP is trying to slide out there, but uh, have to get stuck by Flip there. He's gonna hope he can activate the Aloha. Oh, and this is gonna be a bunch of damage, but there's the, there's the burst. Look at that corner carry. I'd rather not. I'm trying to look away. <laughs> Ooh, there's and the then there's the dizzy. There's no burst. This is, yeah, and uh, skeleton and he takes the first game. Cliff, one of the easier to dizzy characters, right? Yep. Uh, both pretty low dizzy, and also dizzies himself with several of his people. All right. Let's get back into it. One round for Skeleton Minion, one round for Lem. Uh, players swap sides, it looks like. So uh, yep, that plus our side money. swap. They did not both swap characters. <laughs> Galaxy Brain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Skeleton Minion, uh, the game. Let's get into it. Oh, game. Oh, Snape Saddle gets counter hit. Ooh, Cliff already just about to be dizzy, and just wow. like that. That's, so That's what I'm talking about. He still has time to get more of a run in. There's the altercation, the activation. Let's go. And is this going to be the kill? No. Uh, but Lem is incredibly low health. Yeah, this is so hard to kill. You know, I appreciate the the screen, because what else are we going to do at that point? <laughs> no more blood packs. Oh. No more blood packs? Oh, oh but gets 2 P'd. By the 2P on uh, Even in normal mode, ABBA has a 3 frame, uh, three frame punch. Good luck. Wow, really? Yep, 3 frame punch, and I believe it has some random upper body info. <laughs> oh, okay. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, got the loops in the corner here. Glenn catches a throw. And that throw uh, interrupted the. Yeah, I believe, that, I believe that was a, uh, a, first, or a tech bait attempt on Skeleton Minion's part. Skeleton Minion able to take the game, closes it out, 2-0 over Lem. Lem was showing some uh, signs of life and may, might have been able to make it happen in the first game, but uh, Skeleton Minion, no slouch whatsoever, and able to close it out. So, Skeleton um, Minion remaining the favorite. What I was going to ask is, so I know she gets healed from when she... Does she have to, for getting back the temporary health loss, does uh, she have to end it in the key grab, or is it just that uh, she has to... If she it? key grabs, then she will get back 80% of the damage she dealt to herself. If she blood packs, she will get back 120%. Okay. Uh, cool. And if she goes into the... Wait, 120%? Uh, she gets back yes. more health than she lost? Yes. Duh, what? Uh, but it costs a blood pack. <laughs> Uh, and if she is forcibly swapped, uh, or forcibly changes back, she gets none of the health back. Mm. Okay. Another thing I just found out about Abba here, looking at this, uh, info sheet. I think those Her FRC right. windows get bigger when she's in Goku Moroha? They do. Man, I thought... I'm I'm mad. That <laughs> FRC windows get bigger. That's I'm so, that makes me upset. <laughs> <laughs> she is a very neat character. I would love to see her uh, show up again in Guilty Gear. Although I I feel like she's probably not coming back. That's weird. She seems really popular with like people who are just like casually eyeballing the game. She is a really neat character. Like, oh, I, I, looks like we've got Jason Skeletal Minion playing each other in another tournament right now. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, okay. Both both of them uh, entering two events. Alright, so we got Nuclear Cheese in the lobby right now, which is probably means, what, Nuclear Cheese versus... Oh, that'll be Nuclear Cheese versus Jace, but we gotta wait for that Jace match. Alright. So we got another match lined up here for y'all soon. Uh, I should play my game with Echo Craig and not make him win. Yes, I'm gonna go run my game with Craig. All right. All right, we'll be getting another match here going for y'all folks in just a minute. Thank you for joining Boston Bluebee. My name is Swell. 
here and doing commentary as folks rotate back on through. JMD is holding it down for us on some of the stream running in TOing aspects. That was Tails on the mic with me a minute ago. Appreciate that uh, Abba's Goku Roha move is called Altercation, so I can say Altercation Activation. That's actually, that is that, really good. Make that an easy rhyme. Thank you, Daisuke. Yeah, appreciate I appreciate it. That. It's kind of the, the, this one stays true forever, unlike Ink in the Pink, so. Ink in the Pink was, I was so happy with that one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I should have gotten the names right on the first, on the first go around, on no, the first go around. Okay. Thanks, y'all, folks, okay. for uh, for bearing with us. Um, both of our commentators are, as you have seen, uh, extremely good players, so they have also made it far in the bracket. So I'm gonna jump in for a little bit um, while right. they uh, while they play their matches. Yeah, and uh, I'm a guest here to the New England scene, but got along well with them last time, so they had me back. My name yeah. is Swell. If you wanna follow me on Twitter? My Twitter is at SwellGGs. Tweet about fighting games and gay shit. Feel free to give me a follow. We love it. We love it. That's that's very much part of our brand, I think, up here in the NFGC. I feel like uh, a lot of the anime, I feel like a lot of the anime FGC has kind of embraced that to a degree. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. pretty pretty cool to see. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yeah. We're uh, we're all about we're all about positivity and, and embracing good things in in 2021. Um, and speaking of, thank you for joining us for another uh, year of Boston Blue Beat. Um, we're excited to kind of keep running these. Um, we're still going to be running Blaze Blue as well, um, and we are going to try to run Exerd uh, once a month. I would like to kind of keep that going because I know uh, we've had a couple pings from people in the Exerd community saying, "Hey, so so I I you know I I want to see sure. all well like I don't okay I want to see the last three generations Guilty Gear. I don't need a Guilty Gear X or a or a Guilty Gear One or." Actually, there's a yeah. lot of spin-offs of Guilty Gear I don't need to see. I just need to see XX, Exert, and Strive active at the same time. That's yeah. that's the end goal. I'm, I'm only knee-deep in XX, but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying the swim so far. <laughs> yeah, it's well, um, I'm... it's been pretty good. Um, let me see. Oh, okay. we might be able to run Black vs. Pinku on stream. Um, Alright, so... So, Paracelsus uh, held a natural affinity with the Hermetic, Neoplatonic, and uh, Pythagorean, uh, no, Pythagorean, Pyth Pythagorean philosophies uh, central to the Renaissance. Just uh, talk more about Paracelsus. <laughs> I know that's what the stream wants. Well, we, we uh, did a we did a deep dive because we found out we we had to look up the name of Abba's stage, which is like Frasco. So this this further confirms our theory because it, we we googled it, and aside from being a, a massive faceless corporation um uh -huh. i've always thought it was just a typo for fresco but no it's there's this very tiny little county in switzerland um huh. yeah so somebody was cool. really committed to the bit you know back in a time when uh information well, like i guess wasn't that long ago information was slightly less immediately ubiquitous as it is now right right all right Hopefully, we get another match going. In the meantime, yeah. let me tell you about uh, the great medical problem of this period. <laughs> was actually syphilis, uh, likely recently imported from the West Indies and running rampant. Classic uh, Paracelsus. syphilis. Hmm? Classic syphilis. Add it again. Uh, Paracelsus vigorously attacked the treatment with guiac wood as a useless, as useless, a scam perpetrated by the Fugger of Augsburg. Fugger is a term. That's incredible. Uh, Fugger is a German upper bourgeois family that was historically prominent. Okay. Yeah. We're learning <laughs> tonight. We're learning tonight. <laughs> Hope this is what y'all wanted from your gear stream. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna it looks like now uh Flack was Flack was in uh, his match earlier. Um but okay. is now gonna hop on stream to run a match against Pinku. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So we'll get Flack, who was on mic earlier, with Pinku. Oh, okay. Uh, Astronomia Magna. I thought it said manga. I was about to lose my shit. Uh, but no, it's not. All right, though. Paracelsus. That's the name of the key. There was your uh, guilty gear lore. Now All right, I'll get back. To you. We got the I'm deep, sorry, what? Deep dive. I said no. Now we got the deep, deep dive. Yeah, I got this page pulled up now. So if I need more filler material, I'm ready to go. I love it. So, 
I mentioned a little earlier that um, Anji was a little bit difficult for Venom to combo on. Weirdly, when Anji is on the ground, his head is very low to the ground, even though he's tall. So Venom's 2S, which is his primary like mid-range um, dubious curve like continuation tool to like keep the loops going, goes over Anji's head. So it doesn't actually combo unless you're like fairly on top of Anji. Yeah. It's not like some other characters where like I can just like that like their head extends out or their feet extend out. Anji doesn't really get comboed all that well by Venom, and it sucks. But you know that's life. Yeah. It, the, the amount of individual uh, interpersonal character interactions in ACR is you know absolutely. Um, oh yeah. There there are so many. I mean, and a lot of them revolve around you know because there there are characters with um you no. Know, uh, you got characters like Abba who are like super heavy despite having you know a relatively small hitbox um, because mm-hmm. of the aforementioned Paracelsus. You've got characters uh, like Justice who look like they should be heavyweights but are lightweights but still have a giant hitbox. And and I guess because of that way, it's your sister. Okay, Skeletal can't run. So I think we are... What are we running? We are running Cheese and Jace. We are running Cheese and Jace now. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Cheese and Jace. Let's do it. Cheese and... Yep, uh, so- Skeletal be... and Jace were playing on a different stream. <laughs> yeah. And so Cheese and Jace will be Soul versus Bridget. Oh, that should be really interesting. Yeah, actually, I think we... I'm pretty sure we had that match as part of Neo, and it was actually a very tight match. Yeah, I believe we did. Uh, yeah, because I... Jace needs to make so many more correct reads, but, like, yeah... If I recall correctly, that was actually a... Uh, we had a double Jeopardy on that one, too. Oh, yeah, we did. I'm, like, 90% sure. I'm trying to find the old bracket. Um, I cannot find the bracket for Neo right now, though. But Yeah, I like yeah, watching I'm... these matchups where one character is theoretically super in control the whole time, but just one wrong thing happens and it unravels. Well, what ended up happening last time with Nuclear Cheese and Jace is that oh, Jace started cool. using... Um, me and my death machine which is the roger bicycle special or the bicycle overdrive and using that it's active for so long that it made nuclear cheese have to respect some of the uh movement or sorry it it made nuclear cheese not be able to be as mobile right because uh, me and my death machine was on screen for so long and uh that one can hit low enough to prohibit grand viper right um, I believe it either tracks to the opponent or tracks towards Bridget. But either scenario, you can set it up so that it keeps you safe. So let's get to it. Heaven or hell, do one. All right, Jace versus Nuclear Cheese. Jace on Bridget. I'm already a hit, but Nuclear Cheese isn't in yet. Yeah, and this is a thing where oh, nice combo off of the Roger Rush. I like that. Right stop there. Oh, nice! The throw out of the bang trigger? I'd love to see it. Ooh, tries to get a punish off the tyrant here. Not quite able to get close enough to make it happen, but I love the chance. But yeah, air throwing the banner bringer, that is sick. Alright, so you your place there, gonna get the call back and try to keep the team under control here. Nice, got the anti-air conversion there. I could have swore that was going to hit. Yeah, Soul looks too high for that. Oh, oh, the Dragon Punch! That actually beats Tyrant Babe. That's so good. Oh, the Starship beats it out. I love it. Yeah, because I see Cheese who blocks Band Revolver into Tyrant Rave just all day, and it's so annoying. Yeah, Starship there makes sense because it's got pretty good info So I like that there. It's tough. Pushing the corner here, Yo was able to extend that out. Little bit of confirm. Callback. Ah, it's stuck with the callback though. Nice clash. Souls. Well, the 5k hits twice, so it went through and the second part of the loop. Sick. Yeah, Souls 5k is so good. I was really surprised when they um, lowered its speed in one of the XR versions, because from my perspective, it's just always been a 3 frame move. I'm like, that's the one constant in life, right? What is this? I, I based my life around this? Oh no, was that still in the block stun or not quite close enough for the uh, wild... Uh, what? 
Wild Pro. I did have it right. I gotta trust my own brain for All right, Nuclear Cheese takes game one. Pretty close both rounds, though. Please your character. Ah, uh, well, Chase remembered. I don't know if Jake... So this is how it went last time, though, too. Nuclear Cheese was uh, running wild, and then Jace was able to slowly find a way to keep the chaos under control. So either the chaos is unchained and cannot be controlled, or Jace will figure out a way to uh, put the clamp down on. Heaven or hell! Oh, maybe that's how I should do gear commentary. I've got to find more and more uh, music like rock references. What's a platform? Right. Backing away there. Oh, nice! Able to put that and turn it into a combo off of that, like, way high up uh, anti air to blow up the proper? To blow up the uh, dash over? Okay! Tries a starship pain afterwards, expect for starship. Right away, rushes in there. Ooh, clipped by the 5k. Play the set. And if I were in the air, able to get the side swap for the combo. Oh, off the wall, sidewinder loop, let's go. Oh, drops it. Oh, you could keep respecting the Jagged Roger there. Okay. Yeah, if it was, um, I didn't see if it was Force Break Jagged Roger, but Force Break Jagged Roger. Oh, and the corner um, riot stomp overhead. That's so annoying. He got me with that earlier to end around. It was just, <laughs> oh, I hate it. Right, Jace here. Not able to get around just yet. Very experienced player, so it doesn't wouldn't count Jace out quite yet, but has a lot of work to do to try to make sneak in there with the bow. Not able to get like substantial reward off the combo though. Like, anytime that Jace is able to get hit, it seems like there's not a whole lot of like, payout for it. Even in terms of like not getting the situation. Yeah, that's frigid for you. But I mean if you maintain control long enough, eventually their health bar will be gone. <laughs> Yeah, just like how we're seeing now. Roger Rush is able to set up some pressure there and able to close out a range. Jace, we got a pulse. Yeah, reset with the 6k overhead for the end. Good stuff. Oh, nice. Able to take the air, the straight air hit, get the bandit. Revolver uh, into the second band revolver. Jagged Roger breaking up the sequence. Still quite a bit of damage because Bridget's not too Help. Yeah, it was good of Bridget to recognize the throw opportunity in the corner there. I didn't realize Saul was gonna, you know, cross up in the corner, or that it was a throw opportunity. And blocking the overhead riot stomp, that's good. See, like, nuclear teams was doing, like, three gimmicks in a row of, like, riot stomp, <laughs> uh, um, what's oh, the called? Oh, for Arsene and Grant and Piper, and Jake was ready for all of it. Yeah, this it's pretty reliable to see Nuclear Cheese uh, RTD Grand Piper. Oh, nice! Goes to the other side to get the throw after the bandit. Uh, okay, nice. Stuffs with the name of that. forget which button that is, but it gets blocked. Nice. Probably oh, is that going to be it there? No, no burst. That yeah, does it. I was about it. to say, Jace was looking really composed there near the end until that one last hit got enough damage. Mm hmm. Nuclear Cheese takes it 2 0 over Jace. Jace still alive in the bracket though, so we may have some more Bridget for you still, but for now, stuffed. Yeah, uh, it looked like Jace needed just slightly more of something. Just, yeah, I don't know. Well, you know, Nuclear Cheese is no slouch too, so it might, might also be Nuclear Cheese making adjustments that we don't quite see on this end here too, so. Tough break though. Yeah, it must be one of those really frustrating ones where you feel like you just almost had them figured out. Oh, okay. I will dip out of commentary, and then I will dip back in. Hello, Tails. Ah, Tails, Hello. you have Jace next. Ah, I do. Exciting. Have you ever fought uh, Jace? Uh, I have not fought Jace before. Rad. That'll be an experience, I'm sure. And we got Slack, who's going to be going up against Pinku JP, which I believe was the ABBA that you fought earlier. Yes. Uh, do we want me to play my match, or should I do some commentary? Excellent. Alright, so we got Skeletal Minion and Nuclear Cheese hanging out on the uh, winner's side of things for the winner's finals. Absolutely, and I believe we saw these two play in Neo. We did, that was our grand finals for Neo, so uh, looks like the numbers are falling as we may expect in that regard, but uh, whoever, whoever loses that set will still have to fight the winner of the loser's bracket, so... 
and all the players currently in the losers bracket. Yeah, this is still uh, we. It may, may not go the way we saw before. Skeleton is very strong and, you know, likely favorite. So whoever is trying to beat them will have a quite tall order in front of them. But we'll see how things go. For now, we got Pinku JP on ABBA and we got Blackman Mania on Order Soul. Ooh, Order Soul Black versus Man ABBA. Maniac Black Maniac. My bad. Uh, well, I'm suddenly glad for Flack that, uh, I've actually been playing ABBA sets against Flack recently. Oh! Uh, so he knows the matchup a little bit. Let's go! Alright then! So, uh, this should be interesting to watch, and I have to imagine Pinky knows the Order Soul matchup, because I don't think he'd be playing this game online without knowing that matchup. <laughs> God, this ABBA color looks like it's switching from an idol. Giant bubblegum ABBA. Right? <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be a fair bit of damage. Uh, that's some pretty good damage off throw. Oh, and run up Donzai to uh, only one rep of the club, so I wonder if she can't get more. Okay, and we can send out a little bit further here, keeping up with the pressure. Let's see if Black Maniac does it, because with all this going on right now, if Black Maniac able to do like three. Oh, there's the health is going, never mind. That's unfortunate. Absolutely, and it's just, it's it's so difficult to get out of that Moroha pressure once it's been going out. Oh, for sure, and I think I'm wrong here too, but Order Souls DP only get, like, particularly strong until up to the on the top. Yeah, I think it's it's like a slow 12 frame DP at level 1. Yeah, so it's not like that strong, especially for somebody who's got buttons. Uh, that being said, yep. the you like, uh, maybe you're going to get around. And speaking of uh, good DPs, Dog's Eye is just such a good move. Super armor move that turns around if you hit it. Oh wow, that just applies to all super armor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you uh, if you hit the super armor, it'll turn around with uh, Dog's Eye. So we could judge Dog's Ooh, but Dog's Eye's the bandit printer, but uh, this doesn't kill Abba's one hit away from death. Does all Black can do is find one hit. Oh no! That's oh. so unfortunate. They're so close to getting the Moroha cut off as well. I could have seen the deal in addition to such low health. Counter hit Gunblaze uh, anti air. I know Flax's been talking about that a lot. It does a ton of damage. Alright, one round of each here, still in game one. BJP firing up Moroha. Both of these characters with the incredible buff brains. Right? Okay, good first good first there, but uh, Abba's right back in. Healthy chunk of damage, and goes for the fuzzy, but uh, luckily Black Walk. Not too much of a health discrepancy in Order Soul can do quite a bit here, so okay, there's the health <laughs> Never mind! It's so hard to judge where Abba's actually at health-wise. I feel like if Abba was to come back, we'd have some sort of indicator about where the where health was. Like a great health or something like that, to have an understanding of how much damage she did. Oh, and we go. Oh, really? All right. And Pinky, Pinky JP, JP takes, takes the uh, one. first one. Pinky looking strong so far. Flat Trying Mania. really hard to be non-biased, but uh, Flack is 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 one of my most consistent training partners. So definitely, definitely hoping he clutches it out. All right, I'm gonna expose my ignorance here so that other people on the stream might learn. When you're saying Donzai, which move is that? Uh, Donzai is Abba's DP. Uh, the normal version has one hit of super armor instead of invulnerability, and the Force Break version has infinite hits of super armor. What? Infinite hits of super armor? That's so sad. <laughs> so you have to uh, throw or use a super to beat it. Heaven or hell, do <laughs> Black playing pretty defensively. Oh, but gets gets opened up by the command throw. We got a, an early Moroha. Oh, okay, the animation for Dan's eye is the upward T swing. Okay. Yep, uh, the upward T swing and then the downward T swing. Gotcha. Oh no, bad burst, unfortunately. Oh, there's that force break on the left. A lot of damage here. Piling Getting up. some Rekka loops. Uh, swaps back into regular mode. Gets the throw, but does not convert into Moroha. This is really rough for Flight Mania too, since because the burst was missed, that's there's no chance of getting any of the burst back. Absolutely. Unless Flight Maniac is able to Nope, there it is. Just saying, unless Flight Maniac is able to dot block for I don't know how long. <laughs> oh, and he calls out the gun blaze with the uh with the command throw. That is 
going to be a reasonable chunk of damage to uh, that, that absurd corner pressure. Wait, was that the command? Was that the command for the auto correcting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But was it auto correcting for Gunslinger? Because Gunslinger was the one who crossed. Because he was crossing. Uh, uh, she hit a shotgun. Oh, oh God! I got it. Oh, Ooh, and yeah, that's it. one of those ABBA rounds. And Pinky takes it over. Flack. Two zero. Two zero. Flack, uh, since this was the lower half of the bracket, will uh, is sent to the commentary chair. Much love, but it goes that way. Dude, we have many, many strong players to uh, to the. Yeah, like the strength of players in these online tournaments has been kind of wild. It has. Everyone's on that grind. There's an Evo champ here. What? <laughs> there is. Look, so my round start gun blazes. I was trying to bait the um slide into key grab opener, but <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunate. But uh, you, you played that probably better than I would have. So game one felt up. pretty good. Game two, I guess uh, everything fell apart. Uh, now that Flack is here, I am going to lose the commentary and go play my uh, Lucha semi match. Good luck! Thank you. How you, you played well, though. Uh, what is what is the, uh, the the ABBA pickup or the ABBA tip that you picked up from that from playing that match, Flack? Okay, so I was playing against Tails' ABA last night and other times recently, and what I've learned is she's very hard to anti-air, but Gunblaze goes under a lot of stuff. So if you mm. air above you, just gun blaze, and it'll very often get a counter hit. But just the problem is, you basically have to guess. It's really hard to react to it. Or, or it. All right. Well, lessons learned. Looks like our next match may be nuclear cheese and skeletal minion. We've got nuclear cheese on deck here. Wait for skeletal minion to join. And yeah, ABA players they love to do round start slide into key grab. Well, except for Lem apparently, <laughs> but. <laughs> They love to do that, and if you round start gun blaze, you get a counter hit, and uh, yeah, it's just... Gotcha, and that's big payout for you, I imagine. Well, you get their burst at any rate. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, I I need to I need to play that matchup more, it's just... For sure. But for now, we got Skeletal Minion versus Nuclear Chiefs, a replay of our Grand Finals from Neo. Yeah, it should be exciting. This is three out of five for this set, because we are into winner's finals. So let's see how it goes. This is also one where we had uh, round start riot stomp. In this matchup, uh, last time it had been Nuclear Cheese did a round start riot stomp and got anti air into getting dizzy and got instant killed in the first 10 seconds of the match. So, yeah, this is a very volatile, volatile way this can play out. Uh, for now, Skeleton is sitting on a life advantage there. The altercation gets blocked. The Ooh, we're able to score a conversion here into a knockdown. Oh, might not even get a chance for it, so I was going to say it's going to be too much more to get the Moroha deactivate, but got dizzied and killed. Yeah, very unfortunate. Ooh, okay. Sorry. Clean hits with sidewinders. See all that work, and that was still a quarter of a health game. Must have been a, a rough starter for that combo. Both sides didn't push around for a position there, but looks like Stealth is going to get the best of it. Burst there. Interesting to burst so late. Yeah, I feel like at that point, you figure, like, the game is even done in the combo, unless the. Uh, Whoa! I'm not sure if that dragon is solid purpose. I imagine it was, but uh, it doesn't seem to be working out. Yeah, alright, getting jumped in the corner. Oh, the sweep. Yeah, was that the dragon install recovery, or... Oh no, it goes away if you get knocked down, doesn't it? That I don't know. I see it used so rarely. I like the use of the sweep from Skeletal Minion there to check a potential Grand Viper attempt, which is what I think was going on there. 
because we hadn't seen Grand Viper use that whole time from Nuclear Cheese, and based off of how Nuclear Cheese has played before, I just got to imagine that, that, that they were, like, restraining themselves intensely to not be trying to use Grand Viper, so... Oh yeah, just home. loves going under stuff with Grand Viper. Yeah, so Skeletal Minion, like, being ready and on deck and checking it with that, and guessing it was 2H, not one of those for Ava, Oh, burst right before the key grab. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, just lose so much health if he gets wrong, and we're gonna see corner throw into. Oh, well, into Dizzy. I was gonna say into huge damage, but. <laughs> yeah, still got the. Gets the finish here. Skeletal Minion looking extremely strong. Nuclear Chief that had to make some sort of adjustment. Oh wow, just runs into the opener. That sucks. Hit by the Riot Stomp. Is not, not a knockdown though, so the Hero Hombo is terribly punished from it. Bounce up. Okay. A butt hit. Right here. Work. There's the altercation. Oh no, a button press was in there. Got clipped. Oh, there's the Donzai. <laughs> A couple of fun combos from each of them, but yeah, Donzai will... I mean, I don't think this kills, but it's still very, uh... Oh, I thought we were going to get the unblockable there after the uh, blood toss. Either way, Skeleton Minion takes it 2-0. A very fast 2-0 over Nuclear Cheese as well. Nuclear Cheese is really using like, some, sort of, uh, some sort of adjustment to either the approach or something here for how this matchup is going out. Otherwise, going to be a quick 3-0 for Skeleton Minion. Yeah, it's yeah, it's just looking tough. Well, I think that Donsai contests a lot of the um, gimmicky movement options because mm -hmm. it just hits so high and you know it's yeah. just so big. So like if you're just trying to do some really clever thing, Donsai will catch you. Yeah, it's this big wall of like nah. Don't be cute. <laughs> Alright, here's the key grab. Get the Moroha activate. Try and stomp. So not. There's the jump. First there after knockdown. Catch the jump in. Good pick up off the ground slide. And yeah. yeah. Oh, and another Dizzy. Wow, this is. Yeah. I love that RC there off of. What is that one? Eradication. I love that RC off of Eradication. RC. Yeah, so we're seeing that um, Skeletal is just very willing to play in normal mode uh, until getting a, a safe transform, like not anxious to blood pack in neutral. Yeah, like even if it's not necessarily always comfortable into it, if you grab something like that, just it's, I somehow find the space or find the knockdown. Yeah, like it looks like block heavy normal into a blood pack is pretty reasonable there. The Dizzy again! That was like, what, five Dizzies in that match? Yeah, just brutal. Wow, 3-0 Skeletal Minion over Nuclear Cheese. Skeletal Minion will be sitting in Grand Finals. Nuclear Cheese will be sitting in Loser's Finals. So, if we want to see uh, somebody else aside from Nuclear Cheese get a run at Skeletal Minion, we'll have to have somebody from our lower half of the bracket do some work and push through, and uh, we may be seeing who that is. For now, though, so that'll be Jace or Tails or Lemon Pinku. I'm betting that's Tails who just rejoined. How'd it go? Uh, I do not know the Bridget matchup, and... Hmm, it would be like that. <laughs> it's got to fight Teto some more. Alright, so that's Jace sitting on the, uh, in loser semis right now. I think we might be waiting for Lem versus Piku to play out as well, and then that'll determine who fights Jace. Alright. Thank you for joining us here on uh, Boston Bluey, holding it down for the New England FGC as well as the rest of the gear scene, <laughs> doing some plus R. My name is Swell. Thanks for joining us here with Tails and Flack Maniac. Absolutely. Although I, I have to say, I think this is maybe more than just a New England local at this point. Right? <laughs> well, I got I got to share love to y'all's roots though, at least. Definitely, it is a regional now. It's a, a true regional. Oh yeah, because like when you were in person, like how many people did y'all get for your weeklies? Hmm. Uh, maybe like ten on a good night for the weekly. Okay. Yeah. I tried to show up when I could, but it is a two-hour drive there and a two-hour drive back. Me. 
All right, we got Len and Pinku coming up, and this is back to the... Uh, this is back out of a final situation. This, this will be two out of three rather than three out of five. And that'll be Lem on the cliff, Pinku on the Abba. Ooh, and this is a uh, this is not not skeletal minion, but uh, Lem's chance to get another shot at the Abba matchup at least. Indeed. I guess two point five Abbas weigh as much as it can. That's my guess. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so into the match here. Uh, Lem is already doing a little bit of work here. Oh, I, that feels yeah, surprising overhead. Le Lem showing that while these may be very heavy, giant swords are not. Right? Handles it effortlessly. Look at Cliff go. Yeah, this is really good. Like the um, 2D to trade with a fireball. Just good stuff. Now that that too heavy it is a low, despite how it looks. For uh, Cliff. That too heavy. It's the uh, big stab forward. It's a low? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, cool. Was that the end of the Maroha gauge, or did uh, did Pinku just get hit there? Uh, I think not. Oh, unfortunately, last bit of the record with him on Cliff, so uh, not getting that, that easy Maroha. Just to keep those plus frames. Wow, really extended it out, but able to slide it on through and actually grab. Converts into the key toss. Lem's got a large uh, health advantage, but Abba does quite a lot of damage, so we'll see what Oh, and this is the end. Lem takes it over uh, Tenku for the first game. Alright. It's Lem, one up Please over Pinku currently. Looks like we had the uh, players swap with the lobby. So that'll be Lem on the right hand side and Pinku on the left hand side. Oh, oh no, we see a character counter pick. Okay, that's really interesting. <laughs> this is exciting. Yeah, gear, not a game that you often see counter picks in, aside from like very specific matchups, just because it takes so much investment to, to get to know your character. Yeah, generally it is much more worthwhile to just keep finding the matchup with your character, because everyone has so many tools in gear. But uh, let's see if, if this ends up working out for us. Uh... Yeah, usually when I see a counter pick in this game, it's pretty much desperation, but we'll see. <laughs> Well, you know, it, it, I, I can kind of see having a Bridget deck, though, because if you have Bridget's movement down, it is a thing, because Bridget's a character that can actually be one of them, right? So, yep. ostensibly, if you can get a knockdown, or if you can get a life lead, you could try to run away for a while until things are back in control. And back in Absolutely. Oh, I mean, but, uh, yeah. Lem, Lem takes the round over Pinku. It is not looking like this This character swap is working, uh, working out. Yeah, especially with somebody like Bridget, too, who requires a very specific set of tools to play well in terms of how you want to use it. So it seems a little dicey with that happens this character. But, you know, think your thoughts. You still got half a life bar to make something happen here, so let's see what you do. Absolutely. Not seeing anyone punish the real line. I can't say much. I wasn't punishing it either. I think you gotta what do you have to do? Get... I'd be the last hit? Uh, I don't know. It is ostensibly minus seven. Your way, Lem was able to take take that there, and Pinku is banished from the bracket. Absolutely. Ooh, All that right. is running be, that gauntlet. It's gonna be Lem versus Jace, another the other Bridget. Ooh, these are the two people who knocked me out, so this will be fun to watch. <laughs> A Bridget Brigade, if you will. Ooh, that's better. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock you down, but it is better. <laughs> it's more alliterative. So is the um. Yeah, is Cliff's, um, what's it called, the big arc move, is that just good at catching Bridget up in the sky? Uh, Nape Saddle is uh, the name of that one, apparently, which, <laughs> sure. Nape Saddle sounds like something I have to go to a very specific convention to <laughs> but, Nape Saddle you know. does not feel like something we should be saying on the stream, but teach their own. Hey, no, it's a, uh, the Kubi Matagi. We can go with that instead. Uh, Twitch cops, please do not sue. Please, please no. <laughs> hey, at least we're not quoting Eno from arcade mode. Then we get banned real quick. Yes, uh, but I... yeah, he. It just goes really high up, um, and it's not terrible. It's minus six, which is not terrible in a lot of situations. I, I will say I do appreciate that you that you can hear the uh, 
the the bleeping sounds when you know talks in arcade mode. One of my favorite parts of the single player experience. I got I, I got up in you know in arcade mode one time, but I never finished her off. So I should try that again. Like I under I, I like by the time it took me a couple tries to like figure out like oh that's that's what she's doing with all the chip damage, but then I just never got around. To oh yeah, all the orbs and how to dodge each one. It's so annoying. <laughs> I, I will say shout shout out to uh, Exert for finally making her instant kill her like classic boss super. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. That's rad. Yeah, they uh they changed the insta kill animation for her to just be megalomania. All right, sick. All right, so we're waiting on Lem to fight Jace here. Uh, my guess Cliff. is Jace is in a match in other bracket. What other tournaments going on right now? I do not know. All right. Yeah, so that'd be Bridget versus Cliff, and. Yeah, the, the vault, I imagine, just goes up high enough to clip Bridget, uh, unless Bridget's way, way high up there. And then you were asking about the, uh, what's, it, what's it called? Skull Crusher, or the, the, the drill, the sword rider. Yeah, hard to punish. I think it's just that it's far enough away that you, unless you, because um, even if you instant block it, that wouldn't make it punishable, would it? I think it depends. Well, like, because instant block is only a uh, four frame reduction, right? It depends on attack level. Yeah, instant block is, uh, reduction is based on attack level, I believe. Hmm, let's see what the attack level is on this move then. If anybody, if anybody knows the, the right way to punish this move and wants to fill us in so we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so that's the, uh, the drill? Free. Yeah. All right, and uh, it does look like I was correct. Jace is uh, busy with their other bracket right now, so we are just waiting for Jace, and then we can run this loser. This loser sends, correct? Okay, so it's level four. So let me see how much the reduction is for level four on this block. Okay, This is one thing I've come to really appreciate about Guilty Gear, while it seems like, oh, it's so, so much information, how could you remember all of it? It's actually kind of nice. It's very well documented. Like, because you can, because there's answers. I like it. Yeah, Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear spoiled me, because in Guilty Gear, I can look up almost anything for, at least for, you know, the few commonly played versions, I can look up so many pieces of info, so when I went to play a game like Undernight, I just had a million questions, like, how fast are throws? The wiki didn't tell me that. I had to, like, ask people. It was ridiculous. How fast are throws? I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Putting you on the spot, Flack. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not sure I got a clear answer, and if I did, I forgot it. If anyone knows the uh, how fast pros are on tonight, please tell me in the chat. Yeah, it might have been put on the wiki since I checked a year or two ago, but still, it's... Yeah, Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue are so well documented, it's just, it's amazing to play them, because you can just look up almost anything. Alright, so, if you try to instant block it, it'll be minus four for, um, it'll be minus four uh, for how... Wait, you mean minus ten? No, because the instant block reduction, if I'm reading the chart right, for level 4 attack is minus 4 frames. Oh, oh, okay, okay, so minus 11 then. Yeah. Well, it's 4 less frames. Yeah, yeah, I, th I thought you were saying the move would be minus 4, and I was like, that's backwards, because it's minus 7 on normal block. Yeah, well, the instant <laughs> block would reduce it. I think you're doing the math, I think you're doing the math swap, like, like if I was talking about FD. Instant block will make it more punishable, FD will make it less punishable. Yes. Yeah. So it it's four it's 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 minus four frames in instant block, but like well four frame <laughs> Yes, four four <laughs> frames is more, so it would be minus eleven instead of seven. Get what you're trying to say. Yes. <laughs> no, instant block reduces the block stun, so it would be four it would be only minus four, right? No. No, minus eleven, yeah. Ah, uh, you're right, yes. Sorry, I'm I'm mixing myself up here and I'm looking at Twitch chat as well. Minus <laughs> eleven, and more important, or at least as importantly, it also leaves you closer. So a lot of stuff that might like be iffy on spacing, you could just get easily. All right, so yeah, instant blocking it, you should be able to punish it. Hmm. Probably, or at least certainly have an easier time. How many commentators does it take to make one kill to your player? Fuck, this is why I didn't enter. All right, <laughs> this is why I didn't enter the tournament. I told you. 
but, but we you. could have had an even number. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for putting up with us here on commentary. Hopefully we have our... We'll get our mix... We'll get oh, our next Digital match. Havoc just did us. Oh. That makes sense. I should have signed up for that. Oh, well. Hi folks, uh, JMD here, just uh, checking back in. Yep, it looks like, uh, uh, so Jason's currently playing uh, in the Digital Havoc bracket as well. Um, so they're also running uh, Incendium, they're also running their uh, big tournament right now. Um, we've got a bracket match arena you know, set up, so we are, once we are done here, uh, make sure to check in on them. They're running a whole bunch of other cool games uh, throughout, the, throughout the weekend, so give them a shout. Um, I'd also like to give while we've uh, while we've got the time. Oh, what are the paths and bracket looking like this week? Oh, I can answer that question for you. Here we go. Hang on, commentary gang, you got the uh, you got the bracket up. It looks like I do. I went on mute. I went. I went on mute to take a drink. Wait, oh no, so. no 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 worries. I was gonna say because basically it looks like we've got Jason Lem and Lem had Lem. So Lem lost to Skeletal. Um, has gotten Abba Revenge. Um, I don't know who Starks was. Uh, Starks played Lem in round one. So Lem has had uh, a path kind of, uh, you know, played Tails. Uh, as we know, we saw that back on stream. Um, and has since kind of made their way back to the gauntlet. No no consistent uh, nemesis of a character. I think we have a lot of kind of uh, equal representation this weekend. But it looks like Jace has made it over from Digital Havoc, and now I can stop stalling. All right, commentators, take it away. We're into it. Let's go. All right, and now we, uh, we're we getting our loser semi-match, Jace vs. Lem. Uh, winner of this will be playing Losers of Winners Finals. Did that match happen already? I believe it did, and yes. I just missed it. Yeah, Nuclear Cheese uh, lost to Skeleton Minion. All right, so winner of this will play Nuclear Cheese and Losers Finals. <laughs> Nuclear Cheese, a long-standing uh, top three regular for our events. Yeah, sent me to losers today. <laughs> All right, so we got Bridget versus Clifford. Two featherweights of the game. Let's go. Both of right. these characters are incredibly light and made of paper. So uh... I like the use of the bulldog the nape saddle just to make sure that he is standing close to no room for his to escape. Absolutely. I imagine, I imagine that once the distance is established, that these things get a lot. Oh, there's my turn. Uh, oh, that was sick, that throw. Leaving enough of a gap. Uh, yeah, my little killing machine. Uh, great super. Yeah, and it tracks towards Bridget as well, so like you can't go Bridget while it's up. Because you know, it's close to Bridget. Like, a range there can I get into, but I don't think Cliff is going to go Unless Cliff is like, out of uh, close movement, kind of awkward, so if Jace can, uh, can get a breather, or Jace should be able to get some clip out of that. Ooh, and we get that, uh... I love the RC start. Yeah. The, the JD off the kickstart my heart RC. That was so cool. That was really, really nice there, Jace. <laughs> yeah, good luck blocking that overhead. Jagged Roger, Jagged Roger, stop! I love that. <laughs> We're all keeping saying that one as much as we can while we get away with it. Alright. Oh, nice anti there, though. Tries to catch with a 6S afterwards, but a little bit too high up for the 6S to catch. Not quite Axel today, Bridget. Oh, gets, gets countered by that Nate Saddle. If you, uh, there's a drill going to cancel. Um, Len puts on the pressure in the corner. Look at that flex screen. Look at that. Yeah. So Jace keeping cool under pressure, not not fishing. He doesn't really care that there are risk cages. Yeah, Bridget, don't fidget. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Roger rushed in. He got the first. Well. That was worse than Nape Saddle somehow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Roger Beth uh, gets tossed out there. Ooh, good burst. That was probably going to be lethal. Ooh, great nice air play. throw. Get that bridge yeah. out. You see Cliff, uh, Cliff whipping, or, uh, whipping his counter. Raising his own stuff. A lot of use of FG in the air from Jason. Just to control the momentum. Yeah. Ooh, nice little callback, but has to block Super does not ship out. Ten seconds to go. This needs to be a timer stamp, but there's one touch left. 
Oh, nice. doesn't quite timer scam it. We do not get to see that salty bet round. You win! Not a timer scam, but still able to close out the round. Jace. Takes Very close game. rounds, though. Absolutely. There's one this more is... hit from Latin. Really and this, this is semi. Really weird so movement cool. options from both characters. Absolutely. Right? So this is a two out of three situation. Uh, you got those player names back at the... Uh, got swapped by the uh, lobby. So that's Jace up a game. And Lem sitting at zero. Lem, though, a savvy player, able to make the adjustments, possibly. Let's see how it goes. Uh, Cliff, definitely a weird movement character. Uh, one of the two characters, I believe, in the game that has a non, non-standard non uh, forward death. Or, that has not non-standard, there's many more than that. Uh, one of the two characters that has a step death. Ah, I see. Well, Johnny and ABA are both step dashes, right? Oh, Abba is also like that. I mean, in normal mode, at any rate. Good bait on the DP. Jagged Black is too far away to call them to do some work. And, well, not to get too taxonomical, but you could say Slayers is a step dash if you wanted. I would, though. Yes, it's, you've it's got a horizontal DP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's pressure here from Lamb. Look at this. Jace has so much work to try to do to make up for this. Oh, wow, gets stuffed by that. Well, that command normal? Uh, the, the falling normal? Yeah, is that... Uh, that is Cliff's jump dash. Okay, it looked like it was a knife kick. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a knife kick. Dive cut? Dive cut. Dive cut. <laughs> oh, dive cliff hitting the, uh, hitting the audio there. Wow, okay. And we'll get some, some cool toss up. Thank you. Just out of the range. Roger, fetch into stuff close to the there. Just like here the base. Yeah, Roger, Roger, Roger. Does have a life lead that will just very quickly. Yeah, Brigitte has a very low defense. Uh, bikes, I think that's one. Maybe that's one. That's very low. Oh, and this could be it. Yeah, this should be lethal. That does it. And Len tying it up with Jace. 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one. let's go. We got a competitive match here. Please select your character. Of course, back to grade. Oh, they picked holy orders with a question mark. <laughs> oh. Just suddenly very glad that I do not have sound on this stream. Yep, controlling <laughs> the viewers, but not us. I like uh, the I'll go to your players it. watching right now. Uh, did you know that you could in fact change ho uh, change the sound file in the game so that instead of playing Holy Order's Blessed Mark, it plays Cortex Infinity from the Korean sound. And then your game is 10 times that's a good replacement for Holy Order's question mark. I can't say anything, I changed under construction the birthday train. <laughs> because I am a bad person. Alright, so Jace here has a bit of a life lead there. Nice use of the cross-up starship while he's in there. Uh, that was a little bit of Yeah, yeah, my bad. They look very similar. Right, yeah, and a map with life lead here. Lem's gonna have to do some work here today. This happened, but it seems like Lem's click can kind of do that sometimes. Ooh, kind of too heavy, heavy, but doesn't get anything off of it. Still one big hit. Lem could uh, put themselves in a winning situation. Whoop, Mage saddles in, gets put by the yo yo. Yeah, see, what I enjoy the most is just the regular yo yo recalls, just seeing them in the exact right place. <laughs> really satisfying to see them. Absolutely. Also, Cliff crouching under them, what a troll. Uh, is it standing? Cliff stands under a lot of cool stuff. Cliff is just too short. They shouldn't make characters that short. <laughs> uh, six heavy into true. Okay. In the air, he's a jump. Ooh, gets hit by an attack. He's I mean, big I... jump heavy. Hit. I'm fine with Cliff being really tiny and air hit stunned, but being really tiny while standing and crouching, that's just not acceptable. Good confirm off the, off the uh, counter. Look at that damage! Look at that! People that... say Bridget doesn't do anything. Alright, RC out of the sword ride there. Trying to control the situation. That risky game is cranked to the max currently. Oh, okay. Roger coming in. Sitting at 
last of the life bar, able to close it out, and Jace takes it over Lem. Roger, Jace will uh, move on to get, I believe, a rematch with Nuclear Tease from our uh, big Neo event. This and, and rematch from today, I'm pretty sure they fought a little earlier. Oh, they did, correct. So Jace this is getting like, that run back. This is like quadruple jeopardy? If I can find a Neo I think, right that's, how, I think that's how jeopardy works. All right, we got nuclear cheese in here already with Jace, so we should be able to get through some of these uh, next round of our matches a little bit quicker here. And this is going to be three out of five since we're back into a final situation. Excellent. Please Let's do it. your character. Yes, show me some perfect yo-yo recalls. Even if they don't lead to a combo, I just want to see <laughs> the yo-yo in the exact right place. All right, and uh, this is going to be one of those matchups where Soul is going to have to chase Bridget down, but if Soul ever manages to touch Bridget, uh, Bridget's health bar will evaporate. Yes, Bridget has to be very disciplined and play very well for a long time. But uh, Jace is definitely, definitely capable of doing that. One of the best Bridgets in the world. Huh? Early likely from Jace. Trying to get Soul out. This feels like such a oh. terrifying situation. How did Banner bring her beat to 6 p That's nuts. Uh, Banner bring her beat to loss. Oh, does not get the, uh, the pain hit inside. But, I think we're just getting that, getting that corner crush. Yeah, this, this one good hit. This string has been going on for ages. Oh, and there's the wild well. bro. Soul showing why he is uh, secretly a grappler. Not so super good. Alright, Ryder uh, Fetch should be able to score a knockdown there. And he's going to be in a situation. Oh, ran by Ryder underneath it. Ryder is nice though. Ah! Ah, uh, and there's Dark a catch. Oh, actually. You can't be dropping those wild throw combos though. When you get your one opportunity, you need to convert. Okay, can you see? Ah, uh, but this is Jack's bar. Both players relatively low life, but he just needs one more hit. Start floating around on the top. Yeah, it is 17 seconds to go too, so if we got the life lead. The life lead, that's it. Oh, Roger Clips as well. Oh, but the wrong way comes Tyrus. Magic! They stuck their hand in the fire. I'm so mad you had that. <laughs> All you had to do was get away. Down. And this is the, uh... This is the exact situation. Ooh, but good 6P. Yeah, and I would not be able to convert it into a knockdown. Oh, slow as well. Right here. Oh, right. Starship. And here's uh, me and my killing. Going to work, so you're getting some damage out things too. It's, it's also one of those things where it just holds so much visual optimization that you can see like the rest of the Absolutely. Chris standing in a pretty substantial. Uh, 6P. Yeah, and that, and that situation too, it makes a lot of sense to go from the 6P there as well, just because uh, didn't really make a ton of damage there, so you knew the conversion wasn't going to play, just because that was actually a Absolutely. Good burst, uh, get, getting the conversions off. Oh, Roger was still active to get the extra hit off of that throw? Yep, I and, and, believe and, uh, Roger's active points are based on how high up Roger is. Yeah, it, it oh, was, good uh, fade on that burst. Oh. I think it's a fixed amount of time after he lands, but he's after the whole thing. Oh, well. Although maybe he bounces higher, the higher up the bar, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I was just surprised in that interaction that Roger was still hanging out there. Yeah. Tracer, I think. Bit of a light beam. He's gonna be a fair bit of damage on the crew. He's yeah. one more solid hit for Jason. Jace doesn't really have to try to take anything risks here. Oh, he gets it. Looked like you're a yeah, yo in the first one. More composed than earlier. Please select your character. Nuclear Cheese has that uh that character our main character privilege where he gets to choose the song. Yeah, right. the standard of character select screen privilege. <laughs> Alright, so Jace is up again. Nuclear Cheese, gotta win three. 
Jason. Your choice is picking uh, Still in the Dark. Good choice. Good choice. Yeah, one of everyone's favorites. Alright, let's get down to it. Uh, this is well, three out of five or two out of five? Three out of five. We're in, we're in loser's final. Right. Ooh, bad first. I don't know about that one. Oh, and I blocked the dust there. Does, okay. does not get hit by the dust. No, it does get hit by overhead Riot Stomp, though. Uh, Riot Stomp really fast when you use the corner. Oh, nice use of the uh, Roger Rush Ball on the top of the screen there before the hit. Uh, that off screen mix up. You play Marvel. Love it. <laughs> Blocks the. Ooh, oh, yeah. oh, just hit by the back there the entire game. Oh, oh, what a low air throw. Convert to the Sidewinder loops. The 2k was able to pick that up and make that work? Oh, that That's actually something that I've seen that, I'm not sure that this is something that also will do or if it's an equal team special. Um, clips with a 2k after a lot of uh, situations after a knockdown, just to knock them back and then gunflame and chase them down afterwards. Yeah, that's fairly standard. A lot okay. of people uh, will do the OTG 2k into gunflame there. I think it's pretty good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, it seems, it seems tough. Run past the Roger Rush. Ah, uh, we need to see another, we need to see more, uh, Chase looking very composed, uh, definitely looking like, uh, they're in the driver's seat. Uh, yeah, I mean, winning that last round, that was just some insane stuff. The force break Roger Rush there. Just to check the chance that he didn't get anything out of it, but just saying, nope, you gotta watch out for Roger. Just put all four of the <laughs> Yeah, if you do an OTG into projectile OP, um, you can, like, sometimes you just want to do that to, like, mess up the reversal timing or just, like, throw them off a little bit, you know? Uh, and especially against, uh, Bridges of Robokai, it, it prevents them from being able to use delayed wake up. And Jace, uh, oh, yeah. is 2 0 against nuclear cheats. That's an excellent point there. I hadn't thought about about using it to disrupt the delayed wake up being particularly strong against Bridget. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something you'll see a reasonable amount of aunties do as well, just so that uh, you can actually get butterfly okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, 2-0 for Jace right now. Over Nuclear Cheese currently. Nuclear Cheese has to find a way to fight back, has to win three games straight. Let's go. Heaven or hell, two one, let's rock! Alright, two S. Uh, uh, no, that's a uh, five seconds. My bad. Oh, right stomp. Just with that riot stamp. Yeah, it's stamp. <laughs> Alright, guys, okay. <laughs> you I would think it would be stomp. Force Break Jagged Roger there. Just to, yeah, there's a lot of use of Force Break Roger's uh, options, which aren't necessarily like intended to always get a play out, but just to say you can't just do stuff. Like, you yeah. might just run into the game. Oh, Roger Rush got a Not hit and then used the third one? Yeah, that burst seemed a little questionable with the life lead. Nuclear Chief now on no burst, and uh, just one round away from taking it. Maybe two. Oh, Grand Viper trading through the Jagged Rock. Okay. Oh, he blocks the cross up, though. That's really good. Yeah, I was surprised. Stun Flame. Place it there. Jagged Roger comes oh, out. Oh, that's the point of Jagged Roger. Roger. Okay. Love it. That was so sick. Why don't you? Or, uh, why does Camp get this, uh, one? The life lead? <laughs> oh, are you mad at me too the whole time? Oh, 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 oh no, I'm, I'm not mad at you. I, I'm pretty sure everyone calls it that. <laughs> gotcha. This camp is Ooh. a nonsense story. The throw out of the right, out, out of the Roger guy. Right. Ooh, and oh, oh, that's in the sideline. Oh no. Yeah, you can't be messing that kind of thing up. That was such a big opening too, because like Dust is an excellent starter, right? Uh, yeah, I do not believe there is any filler. I think it takes off a lot of guard bar generally, but... Oh, and... Bird, that'll Jace close it out. Nuclear cheese. Jace 3-0 over Nuclear Cheese. Alright, so next up we're gonna have Jace versus Skeletal Minion. That'll be our grand finals. Big ups to Nuclear Cheese, but Jace uh, able to win it out today. Jace takes it. Now we're going to see some uh, 
ABBA vs. Bridget, two, two characters that did not make it in excerpt, so this will be, be a fun match. Yeah, the first Jace vs. Nuclear Chief said, um, you know, it looked like Jace almost had it figured out and was, like, almost ready to win it, but then somehow between then and now, just, yeah, figure out that last piece. Well, we'll have our grand finals here coming up momentarily to see who wins the first Boston Blue Beat plus our tournament of the year. Nuclear Chiefs fought well, but Chase came out a little bit on top. Skeletal Minion and Jace, they did not meet earlier in the bracket, so this is a fresh matchup. I believe that is fresh, correct, yes. Completely fresh matchup for everybody. Jace has been warmed up. Oh no, wait, Jace and Skeletal Minion, I think, met in the other bracket. Oh yes, they did, they did play each other in the, uh, the Digital Havoc event. Alright, well, don't tell me the results. I want to be, uh, I want to treat this like I'm, like I'm fresh. Absolutely. Yes, let's see how this matchup goes. Should be an interesting one. Just check the wiki, and it might actually only be Riot Stamp and Xer. Really? Uh, it's Riot Stomp on the Dust Loop wiki for plus R, but not an Xer, so I'm going to check in the game now. Nope, it is Stamp in the game. The Dust Loop wiki is just wrong. Ah, okay, Great. okay. And that is my uh, heady nonsense for the day. So <laughs> this, this will be another matchup where Bridget can make one mistake and get destroyed. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but Oh, and Bridget, I believe, cannot convert air hits into a knockdown very well, which is uh, troubling against Oh, that. that's, that sucks. That's really rough. Yeah, I might just have to zone against Moroha for the whole gauge, which, you know, that's very scary. Well, actually, does ABBA have a very big air control once they are up in the sky? Like, like uh, I know that ABBA has them. I has believe downside. most of ABBA's air normals are uh, focused downwards, so maybe not. Yeah, they're so very disjointed downwards. <laughs> they, will, they will kill your anti-airs. So, conceptually, we may be able to see, we might see Bridget hanging out up and above Maroha and just saying, nah, I don't need to deal with this. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see. Sorry, I, did, I didn't mean to cut you off there if you had more to add. But oh, I mean, yeah. Maybe the multi-hit Roger moves can uh, deal with regular Donzai, but they'll still lose to Force Break. Actually, yeah, because the Rogers would stay out on... The Force Break Rogers would stay out on screen even if Bridget gets hit, so might do that. Or might do it. Oh, that too. But I was just imagining the regular um, Roger moves could could beat regular Donzai. Maybe we'll see. I mean, that's like, that's the cool thing about gear, though. You have all these matchups lining up in such a weird and unique way, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the characters are just so different Please in this game. Your character. All right. Let's go. Skeletal Minion is in the winner side of the bracket, so Jace will need to win this. Three matches to reset the bracket first, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Bracket reset's not going to be an easy feat against Skeletal Minion, but Jace, uh, if the tournament has been anything to gauge on, is our best candidate to do so. So, best of luck to Jace. Let's get to it. Absolutely. I think you need three Bridgets to win as much as you <laughs> Three Bridgets? Yeah. Fair. Well, Abba looks like... Abba, okay, so it's 2.5 Abbas, and Abba looks like she's got at least, like, maybe six inches of height on Bridget. Uh, and she's hunched over, so... Hold on. Wait, do we know that the king is 2.5? <laughs> no, 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 no idea what's going on. Abba's uh, getting in there on Bridget right now. Jace had a life lead. That's about to be there. Wow, still has a life lead. It was for a knockdown. How did the second hit of Gonzai miss there? Uh, almost out of Maroha. Oh no, no almost caught a knockdown, but he's able to burst. Okay, Roger Rush is out of the way. pretty substantial life. Yo, Jace came to play, let's go! And my killing machine taking control of the situation. Yeah, and clips her as she comes out of the throw! <laughs> <laughs> let's go! First round. Hell yeah, Jace! 
All right, kickstart my heart. Play able to uh, get some quick back into the corner here. Got the sweep into the knockdown from the Roja, though, so the sweep only costs so, so much from Abba. It's okay, I swear my bias is just me wanting to see a bracket. <laughs> <laughs> totally. I All right. I just want to see the low damage discipline characters win. <laughs> oh, nice. And Roger, yeah, Roger Rush is able to get a hit there, but not able to score into uh, knockout land. That is going to go from Roja Activate. Altercation. Call it. Jagged Roger out on the field there. Takes control of the floor. Yeah. Oh, this is a dark. massive life. Ooh, but oh, it this might be fall right now. Here. Gonna be cool. That's, you know, 70% of your life bar. Should probably get burst back before this round is over, so I think has at least uh, two more chances to play here. Oh, but it might not matter. Oh, there's the first one. Jagged Ryan, there's the throw, and Jace takes the first game. Let's go, Jace. Hell yeah. That's so what I like I, to see. Just grind him down very slow. I joked about this earlier with, uh, oh, I, I, JMD, I saw the attempt to catch the side slop from the lobby, but it was preemptive. It didn't happen that way, but I saw the attempt and I appreciate it. Um, uh, I joked earlier about Bridget playing Marvel with the, um, off-screen mix-up while Bridget's at the top of the screen. However, there's also a thing in Marvel 3 where if you're fighting a character in X-Factor who doesn't have uh, flight or any anti air capabilities, you just take to the sky until the X-Factor's time, time is up. And that's what Jace was doing a little bit with Bridget while the Roha was there. So, yeah, it's standing out. The Bridget is a Marvel character. I mean, not too far off. Look at that air mobility. <laughs> I think we need to see more ROM infinites. <laughs> Yeah, we're just with the ramen. Let's go. Let's <laughs> get it. Alright, overhead with the kickstart my heart. There's a Roger Rush keeping it in the Starship into the throw? And Jace takes the next round. Jace is not giving Skeletal Minion any time to adjust. Well, I think it's a. I'm not sure. It's maybe this matchup works out for Bridget just in terms of how much control Bridget can put on the screen and can just stop a skeletal minion or Abbas from right? and stop a Abbas from being able to run wild. Like one knockdown here will uh, get the. Oh, oh, we both were like <gasps> <laughs> knockdown. Uh, I, I, I just want to. I just want to see an eye play. I don't know how fast Bridget fights A is. I don't know if it's realistic, but I want. To see. Uh, seven plus six. Uh, plus the uh, IK activation card? That I don't know, but 7 plus 6 frames of the actual game, which is on par with that. Oh no, there's the altercation. And there's that Goku Moroha, and Skeletal Minion takes him around. Alright. That can throw so many air throws from Jace. Right, got the Roger hug on, catches the throw, there's a knockdown, that's one. Oh, burst out before knockdown for the machine. Smart call there. Jagged Roger is going to score some uh, ear interference there. Ooh, Ooh this is going to hurt. Well, even off has, of burst, has burst available, but not using it just yet. Probably prudent. Drop the combo, but it's not the close. Drop, drop. Ooh. This wow. Wow. Cup number three. <laughs> One of these combos will work. Oh, there's a sweep. There's a knockdown. One oh, more. Oh, oh, and Jace takes it. Round Jace the two games. Uh, Unfortunate downside to uh, Abba is Abba is hurting herself, so if you drop the combo, your opponent may just get the one touch they need to kill you before you can swap back. Yeah, the drops, uh, the drops hurt Abba more than they would hurt other characters. Yeah. Yo, let's go. Jace sitting at bracket reset here against Skeletal Minion. Hell yeah. Make the gods bleed. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Jace sitting at two games here. One game away from Ooh, we're going to get a fast Maraha activation. That's really unfortunate. Though. That might be the one that's going to be the first early. Oh, boy. Yeah, that is a lot of damage. Already sitting at like third of health, oh, quarter of health left. Goku Roha activation. Already oh, there's the cross off. That's the round. Oh, look at that little dog in the background. Aww. I wonder what he's doing. I want to play some. <laughs> Alright, 
Roger Rush trying to take some control of the screen up here. Jace, you know, that was a bad starter for Jace, but Jace is good. They are a seasoned player. They're not going to be thrown off by a unfortunate start. They're going to pull themselves back together. Uh, Fan left one. There's the Roger Rush. Start two. One more. Jagger. Yeah, Roger three. Nick, that's three. Can Instant kill. Oh, no! I can't draw. That's so important. Still so yeah. have very good position. Oh, very good position. Absolutely, but uh, losing all that damage got us. Got us to uh, Ooh, especially yeah. now. That's an easy input too, so that he just must have been uh, might, might maybe try to rush it or something. Oh no, he no blood 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 so. Oh, this one sucks. Uh, just one single hit. Oh, get the gold first. Need my killing machine, please. Yeah, <laughs> get the. One more, one more Some round. Some yo-yo, but yeah, with no blood packs left, uh, like yeah, ABA was in a very dangerous spot. All right. Roger Rush gets a hit there, but that's it, combo. So oh, FRC, so we're just gonna work out. Really activates there, works out though. Jagged Roger gets a hit. Ah, oh, not able to get the touch between into a knock there. He's got to make a though. Oh, there's Rush. Oh, but can't get a knockdown. Reach is so high up. There's a side swap. I love the tip of the key running around from the top of the screen. <laughs> Oh, there's the unblockable setup. Oh no, is that gonna be it? That should be it. Um, uh, there's the block back and Skeleton will be able to dump it. Ooh. Oh, great, I like great. the idea. Tonsai's so unfortunate. Tonsai beating Starship. Okay. It was a TK Starship too. I'm not sure if that part was intentional, because like, like that was that was off the ground. Please select your character. Is there a reason for doing a TK? Uh, I do not know. So Skeletal Minion putting himself on the board, Jace uh, up 2-1, still only one game away from getting that bracket reset. That's Yo, JMD, up. I see you with the side squat catching it this time. Yeah. Shoutouts to all of our tournament organizers. Absolutely. Alright. Ooh, it's Starship from the cross up there. Ooh, gets a throw, this could be the key grab. Does it on wake up instead of the uh, combo? I wonder if that doesn't work out. Ooh, got it. Oh, Bridget suddenly on the top of the screen. You know, let that boy fly. That boy wanted to get up to the sky. Godspeed, I say. Oh, gets tripped by the jump in button, though. That's amazing. Oh, falls out of it. The combo. Oh, dang. That hurt. But there's the Goku Morale how to reset the bar, and uh, this is a scary position to face to do. Oh, oh no. Jagged Roger. Gonna do it. Hey, we got the Abba Super. Is that like arrow? Air only in Goku Roha? Uh, it's oh, hello. Air only. She has it in every form, but I believe it's just not her. And Excuse me? Round. Excuse me? Wild. So oh, let's go? Jason, <laughs> once again, one round away from resetting the bracket. It's hurt my heart. There's a knockdown here. Roger Rush is getting on screen. Got so far to so what if you were a giant puppy named after a German philosopher and you had to fight a petty bear? <laughs> oh, yeah, <man. laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, corner, though. This is gonna oh and this is gonna be the, the key grab and use that. Ooh! Really? Hey, oh, oh, it works? What? Yo, me and my killing machine, great call, they're just taking control of the situation and force it back. Now they're just running away from the killing machine. It's up and above things. Roger, Roger, Roger. Ooh, but another air throw, Jace. It's so good at those air throws. Yeah, Jace's air throw has been immaculate at this point. Absolutely. Jace has a life lead, but that can disappear at any moment. It looks like it can disappear right now. Watch it vanish before your eyes. She's a wizard. She's Alan. Goku Baroha. Oh, and there's the unblockable. Unblockable? Do it. <laughs> I think might have been able to try the dead angle there. Did Jace have the bar? Just got enough bar, so I don't know if it was like got the bar as they were hit by the unblockable or if it was just before. Ooh, just out of range for the sweet catch of the air throw though. Oh, it's hits that rod. You know, that's something in the event though. It's kind of Bridget seems to have a pretty far reaching sweep, but it's very hard to punish by the call. So that's a nice asset. Oh, that risk bar was like so high. I didn't even think it was starting to is... There it is. Yeah, that's big damage. First, but still took like 60%. No, that no, might be gone. Oh, oh get the the top top top. Top. probably going to kill. Yeah, the combo fell out there to Dizzy. All right, Skeletal Minion takes it. Now we're 2-2. Uh, Skeletal Minion now just one game away from taking our entire event.
Jace was at the brink of resetting the bracket, but Skeletal Minion is able to pull it together and maybe putting a stop to Jace's efforts. Jace taking a moment, composing themselves, I would assume. Drink some water. Very exciting uh, uh, grand finals, though. Very, very well played from both sides here. It's really cool, too, because there's such no disrespect to Shodos and other types of characters of that nature, but this is, these are weird character archetypes that we're getting to see fight right now, and that's really cool. Just another day in Guilty Gear. Yeah, another Blaze day in Brasco. Uh, J J Jace uh, stopping to ask what the actual results are Please right now. Oh, like the match count? Yes, uh, J uh, Jace thought they had reset, and they have not yet. Ah, which is unfortunate. Yes. <laughs> for all of us, we all want to see more Guilty Gear. Even if you're know, right? rooting for Skeletal Minion to win, you, you want to see six games, not three, right? Right, this matchup is sick. Well, we could see ten games. We could see ten. But who knows about right. Not me, I'm a fighter. Let's get to it. Alright, we've got the Moroha up and active. No Look at that. That guard bar. How did this score knock down out of it? Oh, oh, just block roll. Oh, into the stagger. This is going to be a lot of damage, but we get an early burst. It's not a combo, I think, rather than just pushing the corner for it. We had to block afterwards, but we should not be combo. Absolutely. Good block on the on the draw. So much damage. Here. Oh, and then the single hit. Yup, when you got no health left. <laughs> Yo, you want to talk about robbery? <laughs> <laughs> robbery? I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I get the scoop into the corner. There's the butt loop. Let's go. Hey. Oh, looks like the, the orb whipped, but another drug. Yeah, I'd have expected ABA to get thrown there. I do not know what either of these characters are. Okay, I think there's some action there. Indo from Aroha is really tough for Jace to deal with that close. Oh, Kaku from Aroha, though. Lockdown. Almost there. Okay, now yeah, he's coming in half to swap back. Oh, look at the throw. Got first and no more blood packs on deck here. This is not too bad for Jace. Oh, oh I was going to say normal mode forever, but not anymore. <laughs> oh, catches up the first time. First time, the first break on by. That one with the Aroha live. I don't know if that was a But let's see how it works out. Still has 25 here. Going to have to spend it on the Fallen's defense here. Let's get chipped out. Absolutely. Let's go. Oh, get the Let's go. One more oh, time. Oh, How close to resetting the bracket. Oh, my oh, God. God. All right, potentially our last match of the night. Absolutely. One round away from either the reset or skeletal minion taking the whole thing. Oh, air tip and not able to run down. Gets the kickstart my heart there to score a knockdown, though. Really will not really feel. Here comes Jagged Roger. Not going to be able to do that. He's not going to be hit. Jagged Roger tracking back to Bridget. Ooh, Jagged Roger stopping the combo and letting Bridget get the knockdown, but this is going to be transformed back, I assume. Yeah. We'll get first before he gets. Oh, Goku Maroha, oh, though. Oh, who's uh, out of the corner? Ooh, but gets caught by the, by the Donsa. Yeah, that's, that's brutal. Bridget still has oh, the Oh, and the This is it, folks. Oh, nope. At first on deck. Oh, got it. Oh, use it a little bit too early, though. It wasn't close to Ava. Uh, Ava doesn't have any blood. Oh, and there it is. Skeletal Minion takes it. Skeletal Minion is the champion of uh, our first weekly of the year. Skeletal Minion, the inaugural Boston Blue Beat champion for plus R. Jace, bringing it in in second place, played very, very well, but Skeletal Minion was able to clutch it out and avoid the bracket reset. Nuclear Cheese bringing it up in third. Lem in fourth. Tails and Pinku JP tied for sixth, fifth? How does that matter uh, work out? Fifth, I believe. And then Sandman Ahoy and Flack, also here on commentary, bringing it, up, bringing it in at our seventh places. Skeletal Minion on top of the heap. Whew. Very fun tournament. Unfortunately, Jace was not able to score the bracket reset. But played very, very well, none, very, very well, nonetheless, and uh, might have almost had an instant kill as well. That would have been cool. <laughs> it was a great, Alas. great, great bracket tonight. Um, I would like to thank everybody uh, for uh, for tuning in. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming for commentary. Dale, Absolutely. thank you for joining us on commentary. Thank you, Fuck, thank you for joining us on commentary. It's been a been a delight to have you all tonight. Um, yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah. 
Uh, we, uh, yep, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, pl plug, plug your stuff, plug your stuff, real quick. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I, uh, you, someone else plug us, I need to check my Twitter like I do every day. Oh, well, I'm just gonna thank JMD and Tero for running the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Yes. Big ups to the tournament organizers, JMD and Tero. Thank you Toito was also helping run Bracket today, thank you Toito. Yeah. Absolutely, thank you Toito, thank can't, you Jim. Can't wait to watch Toito get Purple Thrown tomorrow. <laughs> oh yes, and uh, yeah, we, we have the emote for that. For those of you that play Blaze Blue, uh, our Blaze Blue bracket will be tomorrow at uh, what time is that, Jamie? Six. Six p.m. So yeah, so six p.m. tomorrow for Blaze Blue. Uh, we hope to see you all there then. Um, until then, uh, uh, you can follow Swell at Swell GG's Tales. You're at Tales of Dawn Twenty Four, right? Yes, that uh, appears to be correct. Sweet, Black. You are Twitterless, correct? I technically have a Twitter, but I don't use it, so never mind. <laughs> okay, Black is Twitter list. And, uh, feel free to follow Boston Bluebeat at Boston Bluebeat for more gear updates and else mm -hmm. yeah, Absolutely, and uh, everybody play Guilty Gear. Play Guilty Gear. Um, everybody have a have a great weekend. Uh, stay safe. Uh, be excellent to each other. Uh, uh, don't uh, don't be a goon. And I I don't know. I don't know. Don't don't don't. Be, yeah, be excellent to each other. I should have just signed off there. Everybody yeah. have a great evening. Bye. Don't mash on Donzai. Uh, do mash on Donzai. Have a great evening. Oh, yeah, mash on Donzai. All right, peace.